Jazz hands. Jazz hands. We're live. We're <laughs> live. Welcome to the Who Move My Freedom podcast. I'm Hank Strange. We're live in the Big Daddy Gun Studios. Daddy. That's right. We are here and we are. Oh, we, I was going to say, like, we're here and we're queer, but we're here. We're like, oh, no, we're no. like gear queers. <laughs> we're gear queers. I hope you, I hope you guys, oh, on, what is the you. music? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Father. I've sinned. Ser- seriously, Walter. <laughs> you, <laughs> I it. Whatever I was going to say, I don't Oh, you know what I was going to say? Oh, I hope sorry. you guys have your big girl panties on. Oh, yeah. I hope you got the fireproof. Mm. Weatherproof. <laughs> mm. Whatever it takes. I hope you got your big girl panties on. We're here with uh, Kevin Dixie, NOC What's Firearms. What's up, man? Not much. Having a great day. How about you? I'm I'm doing good. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. So you know, for Monday, we're we're here. We're alive, enjoying it. And uh, you know, we're we're gonna talk to Kevin about lots of different things. We're also joined by this gentleman here, chewing on the cud from the Mississippi yep. mud. Oh, 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 Walter Keller, Freshly, <laughs> Safety Harbor. Fresh. Freshly back from uh, Knob Creek. Yep. Exactly. You're here to tell us about the creek. So yep. we, you know, how was it? First of all, briefly? it was good for me. I mean, monetarily, I had a good show. Yes. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. That's good. That's always good to know. Glad that you know you made some money out of bought, it. Bought some toys. You know, this, that, and the other. You know, I'll show you. Did you um? Did you bring in some stuff to share with us? Oh, you know it, baby. You know. Okay. It. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So I want to say what's up. What's up to all the people hanging out in the chat? Everyone joining us. I just want to remind you guys right now. Click that thumbs up button. Come on, give us yeah. the thumbs up. Make Boom. sure you do that. Also, share this video with friends and family on whatever social media you have. Make sure you're subscribed to the Hank Strange situation. Of course, you know Walter Safety Harbor has yep, yep, yep. a YouTube channel, right? Yes, sir. And so does Kevin with NOC Firearms Training. Yes, sir. Right? So make sure you guys are subscribed, but definitely click the thumbs up button, share this video on some kind of social media. Let's get this kicked off, get everyone in here hanging out with us. I want to do a roll call right now to everyone that's been hanging out. Uh, Tango Hunter was here, and he said, Lubricious. Lubricious. Tyvin Show is claiming number one, but he wasn't really number one. So Ah. seriously, Tyvin. (laughs) <laughs> that's that's the kind of stuff that that's how Tyvin gets down. Peter Hinkle also here. What's up, Peter? Uh, South KC seventy seven. What's up, Mark Wagner? Also in the building. Vanessa Kitty, eight hundred three Salad Shooter, the Armed Kentuckian. Mm. He says, uh, "Glad you had fun at the creek. Didn't see didn't see y'all, but seen a, a gun check." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He said C uh, A gun I, check. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming he said, it was American gun check. Okay. Yeah. I'm assuming he's abbreviating. Yeah. And yeah. he's because there's probably a lot of gun. Oh, there was there was quite a few girls there, there by the way. Yeah. Yeah. So I you know I don't know if they I don't know if they like that moniker of gun chick or gun bunny. Gun or, girl. Yeah. Know. You know. Um. But hey, <laughs> it's all good, right? Yeah, the Archangel good. KD good. is here. Anthony Reeser, and uh, we, you know, if if I missed you, just hang in there, do a roll call or something. We will shout you out. We will uh, get back to you guys. And like I said, make sure you click the thumbs up, give us the thumbs up, and share this. Um, also, I want to thank everyone that supports us on Patreon. We are Patreon slash Hank Strange. I don't know if you guys were here on Friday. On um, Friday was on fire, man. Really. Yeah, Friday was on fire. Um, I think you came in towards the end. I don't know where Ke- Kevin. I think was had a bunch yeah, of stuff. Going. Up in the event. Yeah, so it was on fire. We had Mac from Military Arms Channel. Oh yeah. yeah. On uh, this is episode seventy seven. So that's episode seventy six. We had Mac from the Firearms Channel. It was pretty. It was pretty hot in here. To to borrow some vernacular from uh, Kevin mm-hmm. Dixie's neck of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> So you know what? Um, off off air before we came on, I'm just gonna lock this here for a second. You guys notice how? First of all, Kevin very neatly coiffed and manscaped, coordinated yeah. also in the gray. Yeah. So I guess HK does not make any gray hats. <laughs> I haven't but, found one yet. If they do, yeah. but you know what the crazy thing is? I'm not actually totally uniform because I have on a Glock shirt. Ooh. Oh, hey. that's a violation now. You're hey, right. man, you should, you should, you, we couldn't see that. We couldn't we couldn't see that before. You should I'm, have I'm, never showed I'm us. Gun that. Toler. I'm gun toler. 
Mm. Yeah. You're a, you're a uh, ammo sexual. Ammo I sexual. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I came out the ammo case. Yeah. So today was more important that you coordinated. So you got <laughs> got the FN hat <laughs> and the Glock shirt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's nice. So um, yeah. Is there is there any like special occasion? You know, uh -uh. you just couldn't I went, get gray. I went to the closet. I took a shower and it was hanging there, and I grabbed it. I was like, this is clean. Now I do have to coordinate. Now if you got on, you got to make sure you match. You got to coordinate. Now you saw boomerang, right? Yeah. Yeah. Coordinate. You got to coordinate. Coordinate. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm glad you coordinated. I'm glad you coordinated. So I think we flipped the coin, and uh, Walter was going to kick us off with All the right. uh, talk of the creek. So yeah, okay. tell us how your you know Knob Creek adventure went? went down. Is this the first time okay. in the year that Knob Creek's going on? By the way. It, it goes on twice a year, October um, and April. Oh, okay, so it already happened back in April. This is the yeah, second yeah, one. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, great weather um, for the show. Um, not too hot, not too cold. They just recently paved the pole barn where they have the big part of the gun show at. So before it was just gravel and rocks and and it was dusty and everything else. Now they got they got concrete and it's uh, kind of civilized now. Um, we had a good show, um, sold a bunch of stuff, met a bunch of people. Some of the people that watched the uh, watched the show stopped by, said hello. Um, if I if I don't mention everybody's because I, you know, that's the way I am. I'm not, nothing, nothing personal. Um, but I handed out some patches, and everybody uh, was happy to uh, happy to I was happy to see them, and they were happy to see me. And was this the old patches or the new patches? I know oh, you got some. I saw you both, got some new. Both of them. Well, actually, what happened was. On Friday, the new, the new Flotus. Oh, patches. Flotus! Oh, those came in before you left. Then they no, they came in on Friday. I was already at the show. Oh, you already gone. Okay. There's, there's an OD green one too here, um, that I also have, and the new version of the Safety Harbor Firearms logo patch. Check that out. That's they're out. both awesome. Yeah, these are these are uh, PVC and these are embroidered. The Flotus okay. patches are embroidered. Awesome. I uh, for those who nice. don't get it, Flotus is uh, first lady of the United States. Yes, and of course, our first lady enjoys a good pair of stilettos, so um, I just had to take advantage of that for that. Yeah, um, I'm sure she's not the first first lady that wears stilettos, but yeah, but know. she she rocks them well. Okay, so, so um, you're, you're feeling you're feeling Melania in the yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, she she wears she's a model. She knows how to wear clothes, you know. Oh, okay. So, uh, my opinion, that is. Yeah, um, I think the Secret Service might be keeping an eye on you. <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with that. I'm not stuck. No, that's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. If so someone anyway, knows, if someone knows the first lady, you know, and you can get her the patches. Yeah, I'll, I'll send. I'll send them a whole bunch, man. Yeah. If someone, if someone can get Melania the patches, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. That would be so nice. He would be very happy. Yeah. Well, so yeah, we uh, we had a good show. Um, you want to see some of the stuff I acquired when I was there? Yeah. Absolutely. So how long was this? How many days were you guys? Okay. Were you guys out um, there? I don't know anybody out there in the group here collect cartridges. Um, this is I, a this is a twenty five millimeter blank. Oh wow! So like you like you shooting a twenty five millimeter Bushmaster. So this gun. is unused. Or yeah, is it yeah, it's, unused? it's still got it's it's got powder in it and everything. Yeah. Oh, cool. So it's all plastic, except for the very back of it. Yeah, hold it just back a little bit from the camera. Just back a little right there. It yeah. looks like uh, you know you can if you manufacture those you could turn totally turn those into dildos. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin enjoyed that. <laughs> what the hell happened to what happened to Kevin? He's, he's falling off. <laughs> Kevin's falling off the screen. <laughs> oh man. So I'm just the same, Walter. I mean, you could you could blow up, man. You could like make some serious millions. So, so somebody else, I you somebody know. else I know picked this thing up and went said it looked at, like the same way. I'm not going to use any names or anything, but mm -hmm. um, that's yeah. just one of the things. Don't I do any up. demonstrations for us right now. No, no, no we're not oh. about we're not about that here on the channel. <laughs> um, uh <-huh. laughs> I got to meet somebody you know, Hank. Oh, okay. Um, is, is this a good thing or a bad well, thing? Well, I got to meet Steve from Parthenon Arms. Panthe uh, Pantheon. Pantheon. Yeah, that makes the uh, quick change. Oh, yes, yes. So you got one, huh? Yeah, he. Uh, we, we did some product swapping. Very so I ended, nice. I ended yeah. up with a with a set. For yeah, those who don't know, they manufacture a quick change barrel adapter, I'll call it. Yes. Um, 
I take it out and show it to you, but you know, we'll we'll save it when I put it on. Uh, yeah. So there's on. there's um a few companies that make these, but I I, I want to say that Steve was first. That's with the Dolo system, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, Dolo. The, I guess yeah. that is. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Dolo system. So you can basically take your AR part real quick. Right. Fold it in half. You guys have probably seen tons of those. So yeah, that's you can Pantheon do. Pantheon Arms. We're trying to get Steve to come on. Yeah, you can do cartridge changes and or caliber changes and things like that, barrel link changes. Yeah. I, I guess it has its place. Um, right. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to build some stuff up, and we'll use it and see how it works. Okay. Um, you know, what I have that I didn't have, huh. oh, I had Lord. I had the launch, you know. Another I had one. the launcher, right? So now you're complete. But now I, I needed a Projo, right? So, oh. um, I picked up some Projos. At the, these are inert. These are not live or anything like that. These are made out of rubber, basically. Sure. Yeah. Wow, very For cool. All you people that worry about things like that. So the tip there, when the tip touches something, it blows up. Is that yeah? What that that is? would be the normal way. <laughs> <laughs> why is Kevin? Why? Why are you laughing, Kevin? This is serious. This, this is, is not a serious. <laughs> we are talking serious gun business here. This is not a dildo. <laughs> and you know, maybe for a maybe for a elephant or Kevin, something. Get your mind out of the gutter, uh, man. Okay, I'm a, okay. I'm good. I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh, so I was I was trying to be stealth on that one. I was trying to be uh, stealth. Uh, <laughs> no, that's very cool. Show that one more time, Walter. All right, that's we'll get it. Cool. We'll get her. We'll get her up again. Whoop. There we yeah. go. <laughs> just get her up again. Get her up yeah, again. Yeah, uh, this is good. This is going to go on. Kevin is in a mood today. <laughs> He's in a mood. <laughs> no, I that's very my, cool. I still, got, I still got some HK news too. So. Oh, okay. I'm waiting. I know. I figure you, you want to hurt my feelings. So go ahead. No, 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 no. So I'll 803. Wait, I'll, wait, say, I'll say that. Hold on. A couple, yeah, a couple things here. First of all, I'm not sure who said it, but um, um, someone wants to know if Kevin's shoes are matching. <laughs> and uh <laughs> Kevin, you're gonna have to put the shoes up on the table, my friend. No, the shoes don't match. I'm wearing flip flops. So oh, he's wearing flip flops. You, I don't think you guys want to see that. No, see, see oh, flip -flops. Oh, 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 box. Okay. okay, there you go. Oh, they're dark colored. They're good. Yeah. Are you wearing like flip flops with like the black socks? No. Did you oh, get no. Me oh, okay, cool. All right. So there you go. And okay. um 803 Salad Shooter says you anything could be a dildo if you're brave enough. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, All right. Well, speaking of that, uh -huh. I I do yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but Lola's not here right now. Oh okay okay. So, so it's a yeah. free for all. Yeah, okay. it's a free for all right now until okay. later. She's probably listening to this in the car yeah. on right. the way on the way back here or something like that. Like, damn it. All right. How many Started how early? Many? How many of you folks got a Trigicon? ACOG. Um, I, I do. I have an ACOG. Okay. All right. I, what size is it? Um, you know? One of those little ones? No, oh, it's the, the, nope. I have I have the regular size ACOG, like uh so. Yeah, one of those little ones. Yeah. He's saying oh, you oh, that's a little one, I guess. Oh, really? Okay, so this is gonna be uh yours is trying to be bigger than mine situation. This like, is whoa this is, this is the ACOG they put on a M two forty. Wow. Look so, at the size of that thing. That's industrial strength. I, pr I Does promise that have you, night vision built in. <laughs> it well, it's got a uh, an adjustable ring on the top here where you can adjust the light. Plus, wow. it has a tritium wow. in it also. That is nice, man. Is oh, nice. I I swapped. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I've never I've never had a um, ACOG because I didn't want to spend the money for it. Because mm -hmm. I'm kind of cheap in that respect. So I'm guessing this can go on a 50 cal. Oh, it's going to go on a 50 cal. You know it. Is it uh, going to go on a suppressed 50 cal? It can go think, on any kind of 50 cal. Yeah, I think it needs to specifically go on a suppressed 50 cal. Um, so I swapped. I did some swapping for this with the guys from CMMG. They had oh, it, nice. They had it sitting on their table, and those guys, oh, wow. wanted, those guys wanted an upper bad, and I said, hey, what yeah. about that ACOG you got over there? And they're like, what about it? You want it? And I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. And it was like one of those, like, Boom, we swap just like that. <laughs> Sweet. That's actually that's really nice, oh. man. Wait till you see this thing, man. This thing is awesome. What kind of batteries is that used? They don't use no batteries. Oh, that's oh, that's okay. So it's a full it's uh um, got tritium and it has this adjustable. So where's the light going in on this? It comes in through this area here. Oh okay. right up top there. You can turn so this. that red that red strip is where the light's going into? Yeah, you can turn it and adjust the amount oh. of light. 
I'm and if you turn it all the way closed, the, the tritium still still glows. So wow, that's, that's actually nice. pretty. Yeah, yeah. I was I was very happy to acquire it. Yes. Yeah, that's um, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see what else we got here. Um, Did you get any MP5s? Because you know that's what Babyface is going to want. I got. <laughs> you know what? I have a I have a connection. I didn't ask him about that because that was in my HK News thing. Um, I made I made a. You know, I make stocks, right? I make the collapsible stocks. Right. Uh -huh. And I've been thinking about making one for like the a K model, HK, the little bitty K, um, like the MP, MP5 type gun. Okay. And I met a gentleman this weekend who's an MP5 um, like dealer and actually knows the president of HK. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, look at look at it. Kevin popped right up, man. He's like, uh, I think. <laughs> Kevin probably already knows the president of HK. Ah, well, yeah. I knew the VPN. He Something happened. So go ahead. Well, okay, he's listening now. I got his yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah, he's all he's all about this conversation now. No, so um, he was interested. He, I, I mentioned to him that um that I wanted to make a stock for the MP5, a collapsible stock, and he's like, man, you ought to make one because nobody else makes one besides the side folding chote stock. Right. Um, and, uh, and he was talking to me, and he goes, man, you want me to tran transfer you a K? Yes. To use. <laughs> what? Yes, Walter. I know you said yes, right? <laughs> Do I have to reiterate? Do I have to ask if you down, say down, that? down, 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 down? Uh -huh. uh, so I gotta, I gotta um, get that season. Is that one of those? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, little Wait, bitty, on, tiny bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You see who's holding that thing? Oh, I see it. It's got it's that heavy shirt on. I mean, you got that Glock shirt on or something. Oh, and, <laughs> well, no, and that I have a proper shirt on, but oh, okay, hey, okay. Hey, I need to be. You need to. Hey, I'm coming down or when you do that, okay? Okay, okay. Right. Oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You're welcome to come on down. We'll just. Walter, we'll just tell him a different date. And, uh, <laughs> what? That's just so mean. Yeah. We'll let him show up when we're going to do like the high points or something like that <laughs> on that day. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. That's I know that would definitely piss you off. Mean. Right That's <laughs> mean. No That's mean. Um, so cool. Yeah, so, I'm going to so look at um, start working on a collapsible stock for the for the MP5 or the yeah. K. The small one, yeah. Um, yeah. Because and then think, that would also be able to go on clones of the, of those, right? Yes, yes. The idea is the Turkish guns and all that stuff. So I'm probably going to buy me one of those Turkish, um, the MKE, I think it is. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, he offered to, to transfer me one, uh, uh, a real one, so I could fit it all out, make sure so, it fits right. So Okay, so how does that compare to that Zenith thing? That that's, what the, that's what the Turkish one is. Well, it's, oh, it's, okay. He he was explaining to me that it makes sense that you know HK set the factory up in Turkey, um, get it all going, then they leave, and I guess they come in every once in a while and inspect, make sure that it's still the correct specifications and the metal hardness and stuff like that. So, oh cool, all right, yeah. So Man, that's that's, that's, that's going to be a fun pro like a fun project to work. Yeah, on. I think it's actually going to be kind of an easy project, to be honest with you. But yeah, um, once we Speaking, get the uh, the CZ mm -hmm. Evo's got to get out uh, off the ground first. And that's coming real soon, and um, and then we're gonna yeah we're gonna do the HK yeah. thing. So, because right now you have um yeah you've got you've got one of you've got my Evo, don't you? Yes, I think so. Yeah, yes. yeah. So we're SBRing the hell out of that bad boy. Oh so, well, well, yeah. we can do that. That's no problem. Hopefully that yeah. stock's gonna get um the metal's gonna get turned here. We were trying to do it before I went to the show, but it didn't happen. So um okay. Once uh probably just hopefully within a week or so we cut some metal. If you're listening, Chris. Um, yeah. What else have we got here? Oh, that's, that's now. So hold on a second. Speaking yes, of sir. projects, did you see the video that I put up? I think it was yesterday on YouTube. Have you had a chance to see no, that? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No. Yeah, I have a video on YouTube. Um, I think it's called "Things Don't Always Go as Planned." <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's us and 904. We got Steve from 904 oh, in the I hangout right now. I saw it, but I didn't watch it. I saw it, but I didn't watch it yet. Yeah, you don't necessarily. You, I mean, you lived it. Oh you yeah, yeah, I was there. So, <laughs> no, you need to watch it. Okay, Definitely you should watch it. But yeah, I threw that video up, and it's basically um, a bunch of testing we were doing when the 904 guys were on the hacienda, and you were just testing different projects. But I don't think you were doing any kind of safety harbor project. Okay, just your other personal projects that you were working on. So right, right, right. Uh, hey, can I ask? Let me ask Walter a question about that. Yes, sir. absolutely. So you, uh, I see Babyface redid a 1903 for you. Yes. So here's my question. So of course I have the the snub of that base. I got the one in um what is that? Thirty eight smokeless, rimless, smokeless. So I was told, rimless smoke. I 
Yeah, smoke. Oh, that's right. You've got that's that gun you yeah. that one yeah. that you acquired this quite yeah. Did you ever yeah. show us that, Kevin? You showed us that. I can go get it if, I, if we haven't seen it. But yeah, I okay. think I, did. Mm -hmm. I can go get it. But it, I'm curious because I was told, and I'm not, uh, I don't know all there is to know about the collectibles, so I have to ask a lot of questions. So I was told to leave that thing in its functional but rough conditioning because right. if I made it pretty again, it would destroy the value. But yeah, I saw that yeah. you redid one, so what would yeah, you uh, and the, yeah, I, I would, I would leave it, I would leave it like it is, unless it's like a real beater, you know. But if it's just a used gun, it's if you if you re finish it or repark it or, or re blew it it's going to take something away from it you know yeah hey, no no yes. come here for a sec yes, sir. uh go to my safe and grab my uh that the gun that's really really old the small one that's really really old the 1903 you'll know it it's the old one the oldest one i got oh, it's a, no. okay. a semi-automatic and it looks really old oh that one it's scratched oh, up yeah, yeah you know yeah that one yeah, so that's uh, yeah. The patina, I think, is what gives a lot of these things the value. You know, right? The the one that I had, the nineteen oh three Colt, um, it had no finish. It was missing parts. Um, oh, okay, okay. So it was one of those deals where it was incomplete. Um, it was kind of fugly when I first got it. So, um, it was no. I mean, they're still worth money. I mean, that gun I could probably sell for three fifty, four hundred bucks, no problem. But the really nice ones are twelve hundred, fifteen hundred, eighteen hundred, mm -hmm. or more. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, let me see. There was a question. Oh, yeah. So before I left to go to the creek, I mm -hmm. I started. I ordered some magazines. I got a twelve round magazine for that little Glock forty two. Oh, nice. The three eighty. The one Very that you want nice. to put a switch in. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah so um, let's. Yeah. Don't give away too much on that one. Oh, well, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm gonna say nothing. Yeah. Oh, so cool. You got a. Yeah, twelve rounder. And then, yeah, then that's I bought, nice. You know, I had that. I picked up that Palmetto State Armory nine millimeter before we left, and the old Korean mags I had wouldn't fit, so I kind of. I, I bought I some it. magazines. No, While I was at the creek, I bought some more mags. Oh, so those are the Korean ones. Well, these are these are a couple of real Glocks. A couple oh. um, of the two different styles of Korean mags, and I bought some of the American made um, ET. What the hell is it? It's an American made clear one. Oh, the, the see through ones. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Now they all fit in the in, in the Palmetto State 9 million. They do. Problem, okay, so. good. All right. So but we got some we got some mags from, from making some making some for, noise. for doing testing. I got yeah. a couple of questions for you here, Walter. Home of the Brave wants to know any thoughts on the new HK 433. Oh, the 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 AR looking rifles. What are you talking about? Uh, I think I was thinking. Uh, let me look that. Let me look up the four thirty three. See how much I know. Yeah, Kevin, no. do you know about the four thirty three? No, I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. that's oh, here. Now we're gonna. Have, now, oh, now we're gonna yeah. have to search. Let's all search here and look at the okay. HK right. four thirty three. HK four thirty three. Back when I went on the new I don't know if that. I don't know if that's. That might not be. That's probably not the right name. Let me see. Do I don't I mean, know. It wrong? comes up. HK-433 is a modular assault rifle chambered in 556 by 45. And what else? Um, Archangel yeah. was asking if they have any ideas about the new SHTF-50. Are you speaking about the little 12-inch uh, barrel guns, Archangel? The 433 looks good. So I guess it's a new modular mm -hmm. design that HK is coming up with. Looks interesting. I'm probably going to see it at SHOT Show. Sure. Yeah, it looks interesting. Um, you know, let me see some HK four thirty three. It looks good. I would have no idea. Maybe you know we would have to go out there and shoot it or whatever. But I don't know, man. I'm not a fan of dealing with uh, HK to be honest with you. So uh oh, here it goes. Oh no. Yeah. You know that I, the HK four thirty three kind of looks a little Bushmaster ACR ish. You know, it's got that look about it. You know. Oh. Um. I'll, uh, yeah. Let me see. Like these. You know what I'm sure it'll be. I'm sure it'll be decent. So. Yeah. It says uh, chambered five five six. Combines the outstanding features of the G thirty six and the HK four sixteen. Yep. 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 Um. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Doesn't matter if you're left or right handed. Excellent. I like that. Yeah. Weapon system or AR platform. Yeah, so so either HK system, so it looks like it's got you know uh, AR style controls. 
right. and all that made in Germany, blah, blah, blah. It's going to probably be very expensive. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll be a... Yada, yada, yada. That'll probably be a $3,500 gun. Yeah. So if 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 that if that's that might come in on the on the low end of things. Yeah. Um Tango Hunter says let's get Steve Fisher on. And he is I have no clue who the <laughs> Okay. I have no idea who Steve Fisher is. Um Ansel for Archangel asking about the short the short uh -huh. SHTF fifties. I have to do some chronograph stuff with that. I'm gonna actually chronograph from twelve inch all the way up to twenty nine. Okay. People keep asking me about stuff, and I don't have yeah. any stuff. And um, the and, ring. And I gotta shoot some paper with that short barrel just to see what it does. Yeah. Uh, Gorillas and Guns says it looks like a wannabe FN scar. And then the Range One Adios Amigos is asking Kevin how can he friend him on Facebook. He just joined. He has no clue. Okay. Uh, well, so, uh, well, if you want to, it's just uh, you can look up. NOC Firearms Training on Facebook, and then Kevin Dixie. It's Diaz and Dog, I-X-I-E. And I look forward to your uh, request, sir. So All right, Kevin. This is the one. Okay, yeah, you showed us that before. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, yeah. Th but that doesn't look so bad, Kevin. What's no, the, the patina of that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, it's not It's not really, well, it's not really pitted. I mean, the blue is definitely gone, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. no okay. blue left. Uh, when I saw that one, I was like, hmm, I know, you know it. what. And what I would do first, I'd have, I'd had, I'd, I'd, I'd get some cult people to take a look at it and just give you an idea what they think it's worth. Yeah, before you know? don't like, don't mess with anything. I mean, other than to oil it and stuff like that. Have yeah. you shot this gun? No, I gotta get, I got a buddy that's gonna uh, hold it up if you can. Like, give us a chance. Like, you use the fingertips if you can, so we can like get a look at that oh, and sorry. stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Very. Okay. Now that's there. You go right there. Yeah, man. I wouldn't mess with that too much if I was you, man. It's very nice. Yeah, you can still see the corsi on the grips and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. The grips look like they're in good shape. Is that, obviously. One, is that one grip screw original, or has that been replaced? Uh, on the one side, it looks kind of shiny. Is that just my imagination, or am I? No, they, they are. Yeah, the top shiny. one looks a little shinier, right? It's also raised up a little bit now, but it's it looks to be the oh, same. Okay, that's the, that's the escutcheon on the other side. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably just it's a little shinier, but they're just it's shiny. probably just from handling, yeah. That's yeah. All. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's nice, man. And it's you said is it functional or not functional or you don't know? Uh now I've had my my Smith go through it and it it works, but we haven't shot it yet because I have to get a guy to make the ammo. Okay. Thirty eight smokeless. Okay. So I'd uh I just get it somebody that knows Colts just to take a look at it. There's a lot of Colt Colt um Boards on the internet too, collector stuff. Yeah, and you can just yeah. snap, take some pictures, and they can you can get an idea. You might yeah, find somebody. Yeah. What you'll find is I got a. You want to sell it? You want to sell? Yeah. Wanna sell yeah. It? yeah. If anyone that's watching right now has any idea, knows anything about these, let us know. Hit us up. Um, yeah, if you're a cult, what you know. Cult. But it looks good, man. It's a Colt. You know what I'm saying? 1903 Colt. That's a uh, that old yeah. old school Colt stuff is cool. Yeah. I'm not so much into new stuff, but that old stuff is cool. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Girl is so what's this? What's this, Walter? Uh -oh. that's, that, that's that Glock 42 with that 12 round magazine. Nice. That is sexy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the cut of that jib. I, I like. I like. Whatever I like, it is, I, nautical people say. <laughs> I, the cut of that jib. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just you know making it. You know what a jib is, right? No. No, it's a jib. It's a type of sail. Oh, right, yeah. The jibs are out front, if I'm not mistaken, those like triangle shaped. Right. Yeah. I could be wrong too, but you know. No, I need to get a um I need to find a uh, threaded barrel for this bad boy. That's what oh, I need to find. Okay. I think I have a threaded uh do I have a threaded barrel for that? I can't remember. I might. But we'll have to shoot this um, and see how it works. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think there is a threaded barrel for that. Oh, no. So I could be wrong. Yeah. I know there's there's a threaded barrel for the nine millimeter, right? You can get you can get the threaded for the three eighty. It's just everybody's out of stock on them. Oh, okay. So maybe I have to look and see if I have one. I picked up a couple. Uh, I picked up an HK. Oh, an HK um, thirty three steel magazine at the creek. All all mm. the ones I have are aluminum. So some one of our next door neighbors at the creek had a steel one. I picked it up. Did some. Uh, did some swapping and trading with him. 
picked up a mini 14 high capacity magazine because I didn't have one. Okay. This one's kind of interesting because it's got the section milled out. And hmm. we were asking why it was milled out. And somebody else told us that it, they used to say probably for military or government use or something like that. And they milled it out. So whether that's true or false, I don't know. But hmm. high capacity. I got I got I have a mini 14. Doesn't come out very much, but I have one. Yeah. I had to, I had to have it for the library. Yeah. Um, by the way, I think James Osment is talking to Kevin. He says, I'll give you five hundred bucks for it. Oh, no. Yeah, I told you right off. No, <laughs> no James. No. <laughs> no I'm gonna Lillard Brown says nineteen oh three pocket model thirty eight ACP. Okay. No, it's yep. not an ACP, it's a smokeless. I think the ACP is the um the, the thirty two or well, like the one I have, yeah. the nineteen oh three is um mine's a three eighty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mine, excuse me. Mine's a 32. Then they also made them in 380 also. Yeah. The range one says awesome pistol. Lead devil says don't touch it. Looks great. All right. I so, appreciate all the feedback. Yeah. You know, as I'm looking at it, it's kind of like, did I tell you guys the story how I got this? I think you did, but. Uh, yeah. I actually, I put, on, again. I put on, um, I was doing a class. It was a entry level, it was a concealed carry class. And I was doing a class and a guy was like, oh, I'm shooting a 38. And I'm like, all right. So we get to um, doing a, the firearm inspection. And he's like, uh, oh, I need some 38 ammo. And I hadn't got to his gun yet, so I'm at the range counter. I'm getting him some 38 ammo. I and then I, he, I saw him loading his mag. I was like, why is he putting 38 rounds in a magazine? Hmm. What are you doing? And But the gun was nowhere around. He still had the gun in the bag. What are you doing? He's like, oh, this is for this gun. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it was not. He was like, well, if I can't buy ammo for it, I don't want it. It's been stuck in my sock drawer for 45 years that a buddy gave to me when we were, like, 30. And I'm like, okay. what? Because this is an older guy. And he was like, yeah, and then he had it in his drawer for like 25, 30 years because his dad gave it to him. Oh. And his dad was a cop. I'm like, okay. He's like, yeah. So I charged 125 for those classes. He was like, yeah, and, you know, 75 bucks, done. You're here. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> yep. You yeah. probably did that as fast as I did. I said yes to this. Oh, man. I don't <laughs> I heard him say seven, and when he was getting to the five, I was already writing up oh, the no. bill of sale. <laughs> there you go. Let's do this. That's how yeah. I came across it. Yeah, uh, James says he knew you wouldn't take that offer. And someone's asking me about the uh, Reaper Mark II. Um, I haven't seen it, so I just looked it up. It looks good, but I have no idea. I have a, a Mark I Reaper, but I haven't seen this or shot it or anything like that. Maybe, um, maybe out at shot show or something like that i'll get a chance to see it well, well let me see i'm trying to see if there's any other questions so is that uh, all the stuff that you brought back from the creek i got some stuff at the shop like i, I put some pictures on uh, instagram some ak parts and i picked up a 75 millimeter recordless um case the shell mm -hmm. um it, without the projectile because i've got to find a projectile mm -hmm. uh for the for my large case collection uh right. what else just some other little miscellaneous parts and pieces. Uh, some we're gonna do. I want to do a PPSH forty one, like pistol, or we take that. You know, PPS forty one is a sub gun from World War Two. I'm gonna put one back together and shorten it real small. Yeah, just oh. for fun. Okay, cool. Uh, so, did some, you buy any full guns over there, or? Um, I actually, speaking of that, you reminded me. Thank you. I uh, purchased a Hurricane. Um, Oh, Hurricane Butterfly, name of the company, and they're importing or they're building from Chinese parts um, magazine-fed AOWs and, and pump shotguns. And um, I, I ordered one. I bought one of those um, AOW magazine-fed shotguns, 12-gauge. Oh, okay. okay. I've, been, I've, been, I've been wanting to get one since they came out, and the guy, there was a dealer there that's a friend from Florida, and, and um, the price is right, so... We did our thing, and I just got to wait for the transfer to come in, and we'll have that to test out, too. So, Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I think, who is this asking me? Um, the Danimal219 says uh, he's pretty pumped for the M&P 2.0 compact. Is anyone else going to get one? Have you guys seen them? We have, we have a compact and a um, Gen 5 Glock that we're going to test, but I haven't shot them yet. But the compact looks good. Oh, oh, you speaking guys have of any? Yeah, no, okay. I'll have to do that with you because it's not my forte, but yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. Go ahead. 
What were you going to ask about? Oh, um, I was just going to mention about the um, – we got a SIG Rattler to test in a, in a, in a Gen 2 uh, MPX to shoot also. Nice. SIG. Okay. Because I bought those – Bought those before the creek, and they haven't been fired yet. I haven't shot them, even the bullet trap. So we need to do that. Yeah, yeah. we got a bunch of stuff to shoot. Yeah, got a yeah. bunch. Plus, of um, we'll be doing some more with the uh, with the short little fifties. Everybody seemed to like those short little fifties. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think is that what someone was asking about earlier? Like yeah, when the archangel uh, was. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. what's the timeline on that again? I just got to. Get the chronograph out and get some numbers and shoot some paper and make sure things aren't tumbling and you know projectiles aren't tumbling and things like that. Mm -hmm. And um, then after that, it's a go to build some. So um, yeah, it's uh that's that's, that's that I was gonna do it before we left the creek to make some barrels, but I did I want to test it before I do that because I'd hate to make the barrels and find out there's an issue. So yeah. But, um, so for anyone, yeah. someone's asking about the uh, threaded barrel for the Glock 42. I don't know if Lone Wolf makes them. You guys um, would have to check into that. I'm not sure exactly who makes them. If they have them on their site, last time I looked, they were out of stock. So mm -hmm. everybody, everybody was out of stock on them when I looked last time. Yeah, Florida Guns is on here. It says uh, those little 12-gauge AOWs are fun. Yeah. Um, yep, yep. And let's see. Yeah, other. I... Tyvon Show wants to know how many rounds you went through this weekend. I don't. I didn't do any shooting, man. I buy. I'm. I'm selling stuff, Tyvon. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm bringing in the, the jack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I didn't shoot any guns actually, Tyvon. Mm -hmm. I just, uh, like I said, I'm selling my wares and going out and spending some money. So, um, actually, my son will man the the table the whole time. He didn't even go walk around any at all. I asked him if he wanted to. He didn't want to. So, but he's going to be rewarded for his efforts. Um, right. Cause, okay. Because he he sold all the uppers himself. I mean, he was he was working it. I didn't. I sold stuff, but he was up front there talking to people and you know and doing it. So. It's yeah. Cool. So who's this? Uh, Shaman Bill is asking if we've seen the the uh, Fight Light Raider three hundred blackout pistol. That one that they the short little one they made. Yeah, looks pretty cool. I've seen some pictures. Yep, 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 yeah. yep. Looks nice. Looks nice. Yep. Oh, you know, we haven't shot it or anything like that. Um, but it looks no. good. <laughs> yeah, that's a – yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I don't know what he even gets for those um, – for those um, – I guess that's a complete gun. Yeah, it's a complete rifle, yeah. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I haven't seen um, those guys at any shows or anything this year. So I probably the first time we're going to see that is – me personally is at SHOT Show. So yeah. I know there's been um, some publications and things like that. Uh, yeah. He has done shot in the past, but he hasn't done it in years that I know of. So. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, he might be doing smaller shows. So. Yeah, that's a, another. Um, Led, De Led Devil was asking uh, if I'm going to do a brace, and the answer to the brace is I was um, going to do something with the um, the tail hook, um, and I am doing something with the tail hook, make an adapter for the tail hook for my classical stocks. Um, am I going to do my own brace? I don't know. I'm, I've been thinking how I could come up with one that's different from everybody else, um, but just haven't hit that. That that light hasn't came on for the, for the design. So. You can make one that's mandatory that you actually cut off your arm. Yeah. <laughs> like a robot brace. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I would say one that has a spike on it and you push it in your arm. Or something, you know, like. Oh, ow. <laughs> Ow, oh, you guys are bad, man. <laughs> you, gotta different. you gotta go for different. Yeah, or you know, it's got something that clamps on and spikes go through. <laughs> <laughs> this is like you sounded like, like some kind of a um, um, sci-fi movie or something. Yeah, no, just just messing with you. No, we know we. You remember I asked I asked uh, 50 percent tactical about that fifty. 50 yeah, fifty. 50, uh -huh. 50. If he used those or he had used one, he said he hadn't used one. So yeah, I don't think he was able to get his hands on it yet. Archangel wants to know. Uh, he said, or Archangel saying, Bear Creek has left-handed dual charging uppers. I have saw one. that and thought of Walter. You have one of those? I have one sitting in my box of parts that I bought. Actually, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I bought it thinking it was it. It is side charging, but I wasn't thinking it had that. Still had the the handle in the back. Right. Um, so I'm gonna build something with it too, but. I, I wish the handle in the back wasn't there because that's just, you know. Do you have the, Do you have that there with you or? Uh, it's at the shop. 
Oh, okay. And then Tango Hunter is asking us if we saw that the Army is no longer pursuing 308 rifle. Yes, yes. That, that was a waste of money. <laughs> and then, years. Another, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, well, here, here, here. Let's go back in time here. The Army was pursu pursuing the SCAR, right? SCAR 16, SCAR 17. SCAR 17 is a hell of a gun. Works great. What happened with that? Nothing. Special um, Forces guys. Yeah, special there's special ops that use them. But. Yeah, but they play with that. And, you know, yeah. they use that stuff. But as far as general um, use, no. Yeah. So now here we're going to we're going to go again. We're going to go. Let's find something else new again. You know? Yeah. Um, it's just like this big circle jerk, it seems like. They just start one thing and well, they, they. Yeah, I think they just have to burn through some money looking into things, you know. I mean, why, other countries, you know, the Germans, the French, pick yeah. a new gun, implement it, use them. No big deal. Americans. Oh, we can't do that. Too many guns. Da, 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 it's yeah. like, you know. But, you know, it's not a total loss, right? I mean, out of the development of these things yeah, to get the some civilian cool market. Yeah, we'll get some cool things out there. So it's not. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not a complete loss. Okay, I just want to remind everyone watching us right now, click the thumbs up button, please. Yeah, Hit yeah. thumbs up right now and then share this on your social media with uh, friends, family, etc. Kevin, uh, we're, we're going to come back to talking about Knob Creek and I've got some guns and yeah. stuff like that. Let's hear about Kevin. Show. Yeah, let's talk to Kevin. Kevin did the uh, shooting for cure. How'd that go, Kevin? The turnout was absolutely fantastic. So the, the first annual shooting for the cure up here in uh, St. Louis went went extremely well, man. I was a little paranoid about it. You know, anytime you put together something, you're always going to be worried. It's your kid. Yeah. You know, uh, but we had last count because I want to be out and bring my sheet with me. But I know we had, I believe, 12 cancer survivors and 10 coaches. So we actually had more survivors show up than we could get uh, shooting coaches. So we had some coaches double up, which was awesome. Um, so it was great. The room was full of emotion. Uh, it was a good times and some sad times and stories. But some of them had never even shot a gun before but came to compete. So the coaches were nice enough to like partner with them and and coach them through them. We got we let them see some real comp guys running stages. We did some low light stuff. Thanks to our good buddies over at Enforce, provided some lights, do some low light stuff. Uh, gave away about fifty four hundred dollars in prizes and give wow, away. Nice. Okay. Um, and we raised. Um, you know, when I had came on the show a couple of days before, we I think when I came on the show we were at seven. By the time I hopped off, we hit right at a thousand uh, mm. from the guys here. Uh, so we wound up ending it, I think it was right at 11.33, I think it was today, which is great. It was over 50% of what I wanted. Um, it was good, man. We had um, a lot of great companies uh, jump in and uh, support. So we had uh, proper, enforced, misconcealed, uh, you name it, candles. Uh, I, I threw Walter in there, too, as an official sponsor because that upper uh, receiver with completed was more of a help than you think. Um, so a big, big shout out to you. And then the, the cash donation you made as well. So, um, and Hank and all the pushing you did. And we had, um, oh man, I don't want to forget anybody. Um, misconcealed, uh, Vinci for Lindsay. They make, um, concealed carry purses. I mean, people send me a thousand dollar purse, you know, oh, wow. nice yeah. the quality, uh, uh, leather purse. Uh, great. I, you know, I'm not a, the biggest fan of off body carry, but if you're going to do it, do it right and do it in style. Cause it comes with a built in holster and actually has adjustment brackets in it. So you can move it around and angle it and cant it the way you want it. Uh, so it's, it's, it's top notch. Um, uh, you know, I know tactical response threw in on that. You had a lot of great people, uh, jump in to help. So the turnout was great. Black rain ordinance. Don't want to forget those guys. They jumped in the rain, St. Louis West. Um, so I think that the community, was stunned the cancer community if you will when the organizer even came from the center we were donating the money back to in his words he was thoroughly impressed he didn't know the gun community had that much power and that they were that friendly because he's not really a gun guy so when he came to a gun range and saw all those people and all those companies giving away stuff to raise money he was like thoroughly impressed he was like i, I i've never seen the side of the of the gun guy if you will I'm like well, yeah okay so you got to see a different side. So that's good. So we, we don't have a horn coming out of our head or anything right. like that. You know, it's like <laughs> some, right. some, some um, it was good, man. It was good to see people get up there for the first time, fire a gun. And it was real good to see the competitive spirit. Tell you what, nothing, nothing gets the competitive juices going like prizes. When people got there and they, they got to actually like <laughs> see what they can win. They're like, oh, first yeah. they all came in like, yeah, we're all here for a great cause and hand claps. And then I was like, all right, let's meet the prize table. And you saw these women like perking up in their chairs. They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get that. Get and they, the competitive spirit came on and they uh, they got the friendly battle. So, man, it was good. I was I was happy to see people that 
you know, we have people sharing that they didn't think 10 years ago they would even be alive because the doctors told mm -hmm. them they wouldn't be. Right. And, you know, fast forward 10, 15, 20 years, they're actually moving around in a IDPA style competition and, and having a good time shooting. And we were able to put, um, you know, 1200 bucks in somebody's pocket to go back and make somebody's life better. So it was great, man. It was great. I was uh, thoroughly impressed, not only with the the support here, but the support from all over the gun community. And I mean, I was I was I was humbled, man. That's the best way I can I can do it. And so it went over so so well that we were five minutes from wrapping up, kind of giving a closing remarks, and everybody yelled out second annual, second annual, second annual. Yeah, that's that's what I was gonna ask you. Are you gonna do it again next year? Yep. So we're gonna make it an annual event to be going on again next year. Awesome. Oh, sweet. Yeah. And then hopefully this way we'll be able to uh, do more promotions of it, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to try to get um, at least, because um, you know, I didn't even shoot in this event because I was so busy organizing. So next year I hope to have somebody come organize and I want to have a couple of uh, my dream would be, you know, climbing up, you know, have a couple of faces, you know, come up and be like uh, special guest coaches. You know what I mean? To, um, mm -hmm. You know, maybe if you make an extra donation, you'll get this guy as a coach, you know, get some, um, some Walters up there, have him come through with his oh, own no. yeah, pistol and run the stage. Yeah, I, don't <laughs> think you, I don't think you really want Walter to be your coach. Um, we don't want to make him worse than they already are. Oh, come on. Yeah, no. they are. Um, Archangel says, um, where is it? Man. Okay, Archangel says, great job, KD. No, thanks, um, uh, James Osment wants to know what your YouTube channel is so he can subscribe. So, uh, just hit folks up with what the YouTube channel is again. The YouTube channel is NOC for no other choice firearms channel, uh, NOC firearms channel. And there are like 20 some videos up there, I think, but I'm gonna have more pumping out. I just had to get past the month of October and then there's going to be a ton more info coming out. Yeah. Gorilla and gorillas and guns says, man, I hope my cousin will pull through her cancer that well. So, you know, our, uh, you know, our prayers and everything are going out to you and your cousin for that. I know it's a tough thing. I don't know what uh, part of the country gorillas and guns is in. You know? I would just say stay, um, stay focused. You know, I, I, I've had a, a a best friend and a mom both be told they were going to die from that that crap. And if you now you have to pay attention and make sure that your family, so make sure your cousin is eating right and reduce the amount of stress in her life, and you know help out with the small stuff. You'll be surprised what running to the grocery store for somebody can can do for them, or just make sure the grass is cut or the bathroom's clean or something. Just you know reducing stress where you can. You'll be surprised that coupled with eating right and prayer, man, can pull through. I don't. I won't let yeah. anybody tell me that it's gonna it's gonna hold back and, and keep you down. Right. So stay prayerful and help them out. Yeah, stay in the right uh, frame of mind and fight. Uh, he Got says, he says, uh, Gorillas and Guns says VA, and uh, she's going through chemo right now. So I'm assuming Gorillas and Guns is a dude, but you know, I could be wrong. But I'm assuming it's a dude. So, yeah, yeah, this, so yeah. It's safe. Yeah, I like the name though, Gorillas I mean, and Guns. That's pretty cool. Guns. So I got called the tactical, the tactical. Yeah, ice I, saw that. I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> the tactical what? Ice cube. Oh, <laughs> who said this? Uh, James Osmond. I'll take that, oh. James. That's funny. That was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, but, it, you know, it was, um, man, that was a good one. Um, it's it's important. Um, you know, I tell people often that, you know, we represent multiple communities when we come out the house. And I know we give each other a hard time and other people give us a hard time. But uh, I think events like that and other guys do a lot of great things around the country. Um, I think events like that, though, really hone in and it makes people have to look at you twice as being a two-way supporter it makes them look at the the true humane side we always tell them exists when they can walk in a building like that we have some people that haven't been in a gun store before and when they walked in they're like there are people running around like what do you need we have people giving other people cash like here i hope this helps you out just not even through the charity just giving it to them and mm -hmm. they were i mean they were they were taken back you know they were really taken back it, it was um uh, it was nice, man. I, and I, I think that uh, we had at least four or five people walk out of there that day like I've changed my heart about the Second Amendment and the people that yeah. are on the guns. So that was cool. Yeah. Shut up and play your guitar, says his wife had stage 3A cancer, went through chemo, radiation. Number one rule, drink water and eat right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, and then guns of mass effects that I lost my father and several other family members to cancer. Stay strong and have faith, CNG. So yeah, man, you know, th this is like the number one thing that's taking people out nowadays. So, you know, we've got to just keep pushing back against it. You know, I think, I think there's no one that's, that's been unaffected by cancer. So, 
Yeah, it's um, it's it's mm. it's 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 sad, man. And I'm telling you, I'm gonna be honest. You know, I'm I'm about as I don't claim to be a tough guy, but I'm about I'm not a, a weak, soft guy either. You know, I, I'm 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 pretty stern. But when you get to hearing those stories, man, and I know I went through it myself. And when you get to hearing these stories, especially of survival, and you know what doctors said, it it'll it'll bring a tear to the toughest guy's eye. I mean, you, I've had, I had to turn around a couple of times and like get myself together because. Now, when somebody's telling you, yeah, I, I wouldn't, not only did I ever think I wouldn't be shooting a gun, I didn't think I'd be breathing out today. And just, man, that's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. humbling. Yeah, really. Chris Bielas, I mean, I'm not trying to make everyone mis miserable. Chris Bielas says, anyone interested? My stepdaughter is back home from a recent trip to the hospital. You know, so yeah, listen, I think we're all affected by this uh, in one way or another. So, you know, now you're, you're going to, you, you are going to do this annually, right? Yes, and not only we're going to do it annually to to so we'll go around the same time. I actually, when I go into the range tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and book it on the calendar. So it'll be right around the same time. It'll definitely be in the month of October, probably the second or third week. And um, next year, you know, take advantage of some of these um, celebrity friends and see if we can raise more money by having them, you know, make a stop through. Sure. <clears throat> uh, I, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, I don't know uh, if you're trying to make any hints or anything like that. <laughs> All I have to say is the second week is always usually where I was, just was. So yeah, uh, yeah, second week of October. Yeah. Remember right the now. creek, um, you know. But anything we can do to help out. Yeah. So are you going to have the GoFundMe going throughout uh, yeah. the year, or when are you starting that up? Uh, next year, I think I'll have it going. I'll probably actually start at midsummer just to have it up there. You know, just to have it up and let everybody know it's coming. So when they get money, they can remember, and I'll be mentioning it at least a couple of times a month, pushing up to it throughout the year. Um, and I'm going to be yelling to the top of my lungs to people in their in their ears when we go to all these shows throughout, the, you know, shot NRA, you know, all the other shows uh, to to get their people behind it, too, because I think this we can probably spread this have like one here, maybe have one going down in Florida, one in Virginia, you know, just have them all over the place and make it spread it, make it a thing. OK, absolutely, man. So, you know. Um, when you when you kick all that up, let us know. You know, I think the thing to do with this is to start way in advance and um you know get people's support obviously there's lots of things out there people are giving their support to so you really want to give it some time to germinate out there and and yeah. uh build up the funds i know that's a big part of it as well as the prizes and things like that that you're giving away so yeah, um, right. it was it was it was kind of cool especially in a woman oh the, the the lady who won the 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 grand prize the, the custom 42 the breast cancer paint 42 uh had only shot a gun a week prior for the first time, warming up for the event. Mm -hmm. Her son is a, a comp shooter. He's a good friend of mine, uh, Steve Forrest. He's a comp, local comp shooter, and she would never shoot a gun until this event came up. So it motivated her to go out and shoot a gun for the first time a week or two before the event. And she came in and ran an IDPA course. And if you know anything about comp, she had zero points down. But it was pretty impressive. Um, and then to have her son running behind it. And we actually had a head-to-head -head tiebreaker for our spots one and two. And... Um, we had to have the coaches, so the, the local comp shooters go downstairs and go head to head in the duel to win the prize for their, uh, for his mom or the other guy's wife. So they took place one and two, and it was pretty cool because she was like, I was just thinking that maybe I should go buy a gun, and Lord forbid I, I won one, you know, so it was, <laughs> it was nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Awesome. So do you guys want to, um, let's hit up some uh, new stuff here real quick. If you're, if you're done, unless there's some more you wanted to add to that, Kevin. Did oh, no, man. I would just say, yeah. what the heck was that? No, I would just say thanks for the platform. Thanks for letting me share. And thanks, you guys, for all your support. And I'll put that back up on the screen, Walter. The, you yeah. know, our, our Secretary of Defense, y'all ever seen this patch? But no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you fuck with me, I'll kill you all. Is that what it says? Yeah. It does, yeah. yeah. Who made that patch? Um, I, I have to... Oh hell, I don't remember the names, the guy's name of his company, but um, I'm on a, a couple patch morale patch boards on Facebook, and um, since I've been making some patches, and um, it was up there. They do both a, a PVC one and a uh, and a um, embroidered version of this. Oh, cool! Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, if you like our Secretary of Defense, which I happen to do, because he's doesn't screw around. So, um, that's all. Okay, you know, I, would, cool. I would like to I would like to read some to you guys. Go for it. Sure. Uh, local some. news out of the uh, out of the loop. Okay. All right. So let me read this here to you. Uh, where to go? 
Come here. It's um. So I was busy with the event this weekend, but then I came back and and read this. I don't know where to go. Crap. I'm sorry. I just had it up. Right. Right off. Yeah, take but, your time. Uh, oh, let's, let's see here. Get it up here. A red, uh, uh, Italy to transfer Beretta AR seventies and nineties to Albania. Huh. Wow. Okay. That's a pretty cool gun. While you're looking that up here, um, there's a couple of news things. Yeah. So Smith and Wesson introduces the MMP Shield 2.0. Smith and Wesson likes some. Um, I think it's probably a good strategy. Okay. Um, I don't know. We okay. We got it locked on Kevin. Okay. So Smith and Wesson, it's probably a good strategy. You know, they're releasing their stuff outside of all the big shows, and the latest thing they've announced is the M 2.0 Shield. The so, 2.0 shield, huh? Yeah, so now a shield version is coming out. Oh. Looks like it has a laser on it, uh, some other things. Mm -hmm. um, it's available 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, um, including the with an integrated Crimson Trace laser. That's I'm not sure what else is new in it. I'm trying to skim through this really quick. Oh, I did. You know, I just remember something. The trigger is better. We'll, you know. I just remember something, Mister Strange. What's up? Oh, I got to find it here. I got uh, something here. I think you can relate to. Uh oh. That uh -oh. came from the creek. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna okay. go away. So if Walter's gonna pull up guns here, you know what? I will throw some guns up right now. Let's see how. I mean, I, people are gonna recognize these as immediately as I throw them up. But let's see how long. Let's see if Kevin knows what. Do you know what these are? Kevin, bring them up. Oh, yeah. Is it one of those in a nine mil? Uh, they both are, my friend. Huh? Boom. Come on, <laughs> man. How do you get two of them? Uh, because this one is the Gen 1 sub 2000, and this is the Gen 2 sub 2000. So there you go. I actually had these out because um, Mr. Guns and Gear stopped by the Hacienda. I saw that. So he um, he wanted to shoot Caltech stuff. He doesn't have any Caltech guns, so he stopped by. So this is the Gen One. It's all plastic, you know, plastic sights and stuff like that up here. This particular one is gold. I don't uh, I don't think there's too many of these gold versions out there. So you know, this is the gold. Hank, I will trade you. Unmolested. I will trade you the patch for the gun. No thanks. Get you a KSG patch. Or um, no, that's all right. All right, dang it. I don't need, so I don't need the patch. <laughs> and because uh, I actually have a KSG, so yeah. But uh, I'm, just, I'm just harassing you. So here's the Gen Two. Looks a lot better. Right, and actually has aluminum. You know, actually has the aluminum front side post. Um, and then this gator grip and it's more ergonomic and it has like M lock on the side and This is also unmodified. I don't really I don't really there's lots of companies that make um, That make aftermarket accessories for these things. I don't really get into that. Uh, maybe I should maybe I'll yeah, get to it and do some Who's stuff. the one company that makes the um, they make the Rotating handguard for it where you can put a red dot on it um, Red Lion. I think that's. I believe that's Red Lion Precision. So there you go. Okay, Walter's got a gas mask on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here we go. Can you, can you hear me? That's, that's a big a, bubble right, right there, there, man. Yeah, you like that? Got a big old head. Yeah, it, it hides that big head of yours. That's right. Yeah. So we acquired it. Can't be, it can't be all bad. <laughs> Let's see if I can peel it off without peeling my face off. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Now, Walter, for people who don't know, Walter sent me. I didn't bring them with me today. Um, I got to bring them back over here and set them up. I took them, I took them home. But Walter sent me some cool gas masks while he was gone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I know you had gas mask envy from Mr. Guns and Gear, so I had to. Oh yeah, yeah. I had to help. I had to help with that craving, you know. Yeah. Whenever that Guns and Gear um, video comes out, you guys will see me up in there a little bit, and then I think we've got a behind the scenes that I've got to edit. <laughs> ah. At some point, that will get edited. Um, Screaming Skull Saloon says, "Hey, Walter, thanks for the extra Don and the Duck Patch." Oh. 
Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. What is the duck patch? I have no idea. Oh, uh, it makes me think about the chicken, mm -hmm. the Trump, the Trump rooster. Maybe he's calling that a duck. I don't know. Yeah. But um, no, you're welcome. No problems. I, like yeah. I said, the guys that came up, nobody really asked for it, so I had to ask them if they were interested in it. So. Um, okay. So did you see anyone from the show while you were out there yes, in the creek? That yes, come, yes. Okay. Who did you run into? Oh, you're gonna. I knew you were gonna ask me that. I'm terrible with remembering stuff like that, but there was three or four of them. Okay. So anyone who ran into Walter, let us know. I think right. folks want to know what kind of mask that was you just had up there. That was that's U.S. military, and it is the um, oh hell, I don't know which model it is. Um, this one was marked, um, or I was told that it was for helicopter crews actually, but um. Yeah, because it looks it looks like that. Hold it up one one more time if you can. Yeah, because it's got the big open. Yeah. That's nice. That's a nice one. It the uh, filter's not attached right now. It's still in the bag. So yeah, but um, that's pretty yeah. cool. There's um, we stopped at a um a roadside vendor that wasn't actually in the show. Yeah, that was on the approaches to the show, and this guy set yeah. up and sell surplus. So okay, cool. You know what I might do? So back here, I'm just gonna lock it on me here for a second. Back here, we were supposed to do a conspiracy wall, which, uh, you know, oh, gosh. It's, it's in the works. But you know what? It might be cool to also put some heads up, like somehow get them, get some heads up on the wall here. Heads? Put, yeah, put gas masks on them. You know? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, sorry. Maybe sorry. we can get some of those mannequin heads or something. Okay. Uh, we're, we're in Halloween time. Ooh. We might be able to get, or maybe after skulls. Halloween, actually, that's the time to do it. Oh, yes, yeah, skulls. Yeah. Skulls, yeah. Yeah, if we get some skulls. So, like, the good thing to do is, um, is uh, you know, put some skulls up there. Okay, Lola says Mark Wagner stopped by to visit you. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, give Mark, Mark Wagner says, I stopped in and talked with the Keller clan. I'm sorry. If, if Like I said, if I don't remember everybody, that's because I'm, like, brain dead half the time, so. Uh, I'm tired too from the whole weekend of the whole week. So, Walter, yeah. you don't have to explain that. All you got to do is say your age, man, and nobody can get married. <laughs> yes, I mean, you know, <laughs> oh, when okay. you're a thousand and fifty-five years old, <laughs> yeah, you can't remember everything. <laughs> I don't always have color-coordinated clothes on, so yeah, Not yeah I, you, I don't think you ever. It. I've never seen you color-coordinated. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, uh, look, I'll show another gun. Okay, knows, go for you it. Guys, yeah. Okay, do you guys know what this is? I mean, you yeah, should. Yeah, that's it's the uh, SU-16, I think, isn't it? There you go. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's, it's, it's Yeah, and it's got the stars. This is from Primary Arms, the stars. Oh, the stars. Yeah. The stars flash hider on there. Hmm. That's a very nice flash hider. Nice. From our friend Dimitri from Primary Arms designed that. So there you go, boom. That clicks open like that. You can shoot it folded. You can actually put a uh, magazine. One of the things I like about this is when it's folded, you can actually get a magazine oh, in there and you so can, you can actually it. use it. Yeah, yeah you good. can shoot it from the folded position. And this is really lightweight. So, and still piston driven. All right. Yeah. So, you know, I actually, I, I like this. Yeah. Uh, one of these retail days we've got, what? Who's retail on that thing? I think we have one. Uh, I have no idea. Can't that's remember you know, that right now. That's when you know when you're rolling, rolling in dope. You don't even know the price. Just like, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I bought that years ago, so I can't remember. Yeah. I can't, I hey, can't any, remember any, I any Glock uh, aficionados out there? Uh, aficionados. Sure oh, on. I see yeah. on the uh, firearms blog that there is a company that's going to import some of the Australian Glocks. It is oh, a seventeen sure. A. The Glock in Australia, the barrel they require barrels to be X amount of length. So okay. in order to read that Glock, had to make a little extra barrel sticking out the front, and um, that's what the difference is, I guess. Yeah. So it's just be it'll be just kind of a for if you're a Glock collector. Yeah, a seventeen A will be something special. So yeah, Tyvin show. Um, okay, Screaming Skull Saloon says he ordered a known patch through the eBay store. So okay. thank you very much for that. Yes, sir. thank you very much. Yep. Tyvin show says the wall behind should be a patch wall. Put all your patches there. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think about that one. Rod Wait. Mill says hi. <laughs> Every because everyone does that, you know. So I don't know. I'm not against having a patch wall. So 
You can have uh, some, a little bit maybe, you know, yeah. some featured patches. Yeah, a few. Yeah, maybe yeah. a few. I'll do that. Uh, Screaming Skull Saloon says he has an SEA NBC mask that is very similar to that mask. Yeah. And, um, and then Archangel says to Walter, Kevin's wife picks out his clothes for him. <laughs> that's why that's why Kevin's coordinating. <laughs> um <laughs> that's just cold. That's just cold. Oh, man. Man. Yeah, that's just cold hearted. Oh. Might be true, but it's cold. Um I can dress myself. I started doing it this year. Oh, we didn't say you don't dress yourself. He said that your wife picks out the clothes for you. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, Lola picks out stuff for me sometimes. All right, so money I can spend on it. She says, "Okay, Lola says all the time, all the time, okay, whatever." Because I don't care. I just, you know, I I don't even coordinate anymore. Okay, so um, you know, I can tell you one embarrassing thing about me though. Mm -hmm. I, here, here's something that's funny. I am the guy that will get up in the morning and go through the whole routine. Say I'm going to the range, outdoor range. I will get up, get dressed. My girl still has to match. Okay, and I will put on cologne. <laughs> <laughs> go to the range. I yeah. do it all the time. And people are like, uh -huh. why do you have no cologne when we're going to the uh -huh. range? Yeah, uh -huh. the, what's wrong with that? I think I don't know because I, the bunch of, apparently I thought I was the weird one because nobody else would do it. And no. I'm like, uh, well, Lola gets mad at me all the time because, uh, like, let's say I'm taking a shower before I go to bed. I take a shower. Yeah. And I put on I put on deodorant and cologne. She gets mad. She's like, what the hell cologne? are you doing? Before you go You're going to, to sleep. I can't help it. If I shower, I put the deodorant <laughs> and the colognes on. <laughs> It's programming. Now, my wife probably have a fit if I put cologne on and go to bed. Yeah, I just maybe I have, or maybe I have a better night. I don't know. I might want to try yeah, it. Yeah, man, you might want to try it. You know. <laughs> yeah, just a little tip. Just a little. I'll try well, that. Literally, the little tip, and you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so Chris. Okay, okay. now well, let me share, let me share some gun news with you. Well, right, hold on one it. second. Wait, wait okay. one second before I do that. This is like, let's get serious for a second here. Chris B says, um, you know, I'm, he's asking uh, for prayers for his mother. She's 83. They believe she had a minor stroke. Mm -hmm. While I'm getting here so late, I just got back from the hospital. Sorry to hear that, Chris. Yeah. Chris B, that's terrible. You know, we will absolutely pray for your mom. Hope she gets better and everything works out. Yep. You know, and uh, thanks, you know, coming on here with us even after getting that bad news. Yep. So, you know, all right. Now, what <laughs> gorillas and guns says some candles and cologne. Yeah, you know, listen, I'm always ready. You never know in the <laughs> middle of the night, I might go down. I might have to, I might have to get up, go somewhere, do something. You know, when I get ready, I get ready. So, there you go. <laughs> all right. Um, as I say, you're crazy as a bed bug. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm a little, a little bit crazy. Yeah. So, all right. So, um, Let's see. shut up and play your guitar. Says he'd like to see a poster of Hillary behind me. Right. Oh no, that would be scary. That would <laughs> I break. Don't want... the, that would break the interweb. You know. <laughs> yeah, I don't want Hillary looking over my shoulder. Oh dear. That's yeah, you don't really want to get on her bad side, Hank. We hate to see yeah. you missing. We don't want to have you see that two shot in the head suicide thing. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Please <laughs> don't. You know. Uh, that's not Come on now. Don't want to go out like that. Uh, Screaming Skull Saloon says he likes the FNH hat better than the HK hat. I agree with that. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, someone realized that Lola's here. Yeah, Lola's in here. Yep. Things have gotten a little bit more organized. Okay, go ahead with your news. All right. Let's All right. It. So this is just kind of dealing with um, when people want to uh, and, and, and impede on our rights to be be well responsible armed citizens. So this is actually a little bit too long to read in detail, but I'll just I'll do like three sentences or three little stories. So let's see. At 2.15 a.m., this is all in St. Louis, Missouri, by the way, over the weekend on Saturday. At 2.15 a.m., police responded to the 6,000 block of North Broadway where a woman had been shot in the back. Police said she was conscious and breathing, taken to the hospital. Uh, a little while later, a woman was shot in the leg and then raped after she was shot. Wow. Um, and from 2.30, or for, from 5.45 p.m. until 2.30 a.m., including the poor woman, well, 5.45 a.m., including the poor woman that was shot, then raped, um, we had 12 people shot and two people killed in a matter of, what, I don't know, 10 hours? Where was it? So when people are like, and that's all in one city, that's not in our suburbs. That's yeah, and this is not Chicago. 
Yeah, so yeah, that's St. Louis. So it's I like to point that out or, or mention that stuff every time somebody's like, you know, oh, well, we got to restrict. We got to restrict. No. I mean, now, how would you feel if somebody shot you and raped you? You know, so it's. it's um, I, I would definitely if they're going to rape me, please shoot me first. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm not trying to make light of it. I'm just Obviously. saying, you know, that's horrible. But yeah. 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 And so they're, and this is just indiscriminately too. None of this, you know, yeah. normally you look for the, like the gang activity, you kind of weed those stories out. You don't really count those stories, you know, the, the drug yeah. deals, you don't, you don't give those any credit, but these look like just a bunch of random robberies, good people. One guy, uh, one of those people that was shot was a, a bus driver. He was, you know, how they wait on the bus stop to wait for the bus to pull up where they can yeah. take over. Mm -hmm. He was on the bus stop waiting for his bus to get there before he can take over. And a guy ran up to him, shot him and robbed him, you know, wow. just, Trying to go to work, you know. So, so, so what's going on? Is why are we getting? Is that a spike in crime in St. Louis, or uh, it's what's a pretty, going on? it's a little high, but that's not too far from the norm over what a weekend is here. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we get, we get. I don't like to, I, I don't like to always get on and talk about the crime because you know it seems like I always tell people be careful because sometimes you can ignite competition between cities and not mean to do it. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, well, they did this many. We're going to do this many. And I never want to be part of that. But you still have to talk about it. Uh, but we we don't get publicity because we're four hours south of Chicago and they, you know, they 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 pretty much rule that. So. Right. <laughs> OK. Blazing 1212 wants us to remember uh, to remember and support guns and gadgets. YouTube channel says he makes great content daily about gun control laws around the country. Another needed voice. Okay, I've definitely heard of Guns and Gadgets, so um, Guns and gadgets. yeah, I figured that's worthy of a shout out. Archangel says Hillary is always looking over the shoulders of the Second Amendment community. <laughs> yeah, true. She's always trying to, you know, stab us up. Yeah. It's funny that, you know, well, I guess really not Hillary, but Bill Clinton came from uh, Arkansas. Yeah. You know, which is like a big gun state, but I think as soon as he... Uh, got a chance he he stabbed all those dudes in the back in arkansas when it came to guns and stuff like that yeah. so um no it is real crazy too how they you can you can be from the south yeah. like this carullo character it's now let me ask a question about him i know he's out of miami i got educated on that last time is mm -hmm. he like an original floridian is he Wait, original? Hey, who's out of miami Curbelo. Uh, Curbelo. Curbelo. Oh, i yeah i don't know uh, i'm is not sure we'd have to look it up yeah, you know, I guess we can look that up and see. Because that probably it could be a Cuban, Cuban American, Cuban. I don't know. It's uh, possible. Carlos Cabello. Let's see. Um, da -da -da -da. Um, and there's some bullpup news too. Or bullpup in the news. So yeah, he's a son of Cuban exiles in Florida. Okay. So there you go. I don't know how people can. You know how you can be related to Cuban exiles, and then you think it's okay for the government only to have guns. Be anti-gun, yeah. Yeah, Not that's just crazy? crazy. Not to until so, Yeah. Um, whatevs. You All know, right. my people are exiles from Guyana, and uh, yeah. <laughs> are the are the don't the French lost it, launch the Ariane rockets from Guyana? No, well, there's French guy, oh, French in, uh, which is Suriname. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's Suriname. No, I'm from the British side, Walter. Okay, yeah, formerly yeah. British side. Yeah, from the yes, I guess formerly, but, no, but it is on the equator, so there there are you know you can launch things from there. So well, well we got guys that are giving me a hard time about not wearing HK stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> don't you dare don't no, you dare no, 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 don't you flip your HK hat. What? No, hey, man, I went, look, I was nice enough. You know, I just did this real nice. I just let it go. It's always cool. Ooh, I look at red. Yeah, I like I like my red, you know. Oh, I yeah, know you know why? Because uh, someone's calling him Ice Cube. In his mind, he's Blade. <laughs> now he look, he's like Wesley Snipes out this mofo. But I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna give everybody some some uh, troll meat here. So I got the hat on, and I also have the gun. So oh, it's a kind of night. See? Yeah. So apparently, That's Kevin only has hats for guns that he owns. <laughs> Is that a nine, nine, or, nine or a 45? This is the 45, FNX 45. I like, you know, I really, I really, I'm going to trade it up to get the tactical though, because I really want, I really, you know, here's the, the sad thing. <laughs> you can make these tacticals, right? Put a barrel in it, throw some sights on it. I want the case though. <laughs> so I'm going to trade up yeah. just because I want that case. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's, you know, that's a cool factor in it. Is it red? 
the case? No. Yeah. No, it's not. You know what? I think uh, I want to say I think Babyface has uh I think Babyface has that. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I think in his collection he has that. Okay, I carry my revolver, Kevin. He mm -hmm. says saw that on the news here. I'm 5 minutes from St. Louis and uh later on he says um you know, he uh, he's like I think he works in, in downtown St. Downtown. Louis. Yeah, yeah I work downtown St. Louis, and people get robbed down there all the time. Two of my uh, co-workers got robbed while on break. Yeah, two different times. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, it's tough in St. Hey, there's Louis. Some, there's some uh, there's some uh, X95 bullpup news. Okay, hit us with it. What is it? Um, Cyprus National Guard to get X95s. Oh, you know, the, the island of Cyprus. Oh, okay. That's cool. The, the defense forces of Cyprus will be soon, yeah. soon turning in their HK G3 rifles. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Do it. Do it. Kevin, hey, you might get some surplus rifles, man. Don't oh, I'm sure those HK G3s have seen a lot of use. That's for sure. So Yeah. Well, um, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. That's a deal, recent deal yeah. between the government of Cyprus and, and IMI. Yeah, the X95 is cool, man. I just used that mine in the training that I did. Yeah. It is. And you, so, ran, yeah, you ran it through Reed's class, right? Yeah, I used it up at Reed's class. So, um, you know, let's hit some. Okay, first of all, let me remind everyone again watching, click the thumbs up and definitely share this on your social media, you know, where we've got like uh, we've got like 80 something people in here, it looks like, or yeah. close to 80. Close to 80. All right, so there's some, let's uh, hit up some other news here real quick. The Secret Service, this is from the Firearm blog. So the Secret Service is seeking a new rifle. The Department of Homeland Security's United States Secret Service has released a request um, for proposal solicitation for a new 5.56 carbine. The Secret <laughs> Service are offering a five-year indefinite quantity slash indefinite delivery whatever that means iqid contract this however has a lifetime quantity ceiling of 3900 rifles with a guarantee of a minimum order of 500 rifles okay yeah so they're looking for a new 556 is the secret service what do you think about that walter uh okay here we go you know yeah, uh, yeah. what where's this going let me see you know where that might go yeah put your hat on kevin which oh, HK. They could go HK. You never know. Every a lot of the other U.S. government stuffs going HK. So, um. ah! <laughs> oh hey, this is something here that I saw years ago at a show that the um, IMI Magal M1 carbine. Um, it's basically a like a a Galil an M1 carbine. Okay. Um. I saw it at a show one time, and it kind of—I never saw it again. But M1 carbine is real popular, and um, the rifle and the, the rounds are popular in Israel. Yeah. So they, they build a a Galil that fires the M1 carbine round. Hmm. And uh, interesting. It would be interesting if that showed up here. Yeah. Screaming Skull says, "I'm sure they're still going to use their PS90s and PDW PDWs. That's the Secret Service." Uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. No, you know why. I, I get, you know, I guess what maybe they're looking for something. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the Secret Service. You never. Maybe it might end up with the Sig, like the Rattler that I just. Uh, but you know, it's just hard for me to believe that they already don't know what they want. You know, like uh, yeah, well, they have to, yeah, yeah. Don't I know they have, have to put it up. It's government yeah. contracting, but they know what they want already. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, probably they, do. They probably have a good idea what they want. Yeah, they probably do. All right, let me show you guys one more gun. Here we go. Uh -oh, I'll show you guys one more gun. Oh, look at that. Look at all. This is uh. Su sixteen uh, pistol. Yep. There you go. It's the PLR. They call it the PLR sixteen. Um, it has a the threat protector is not on, but you can. And you said uh, somebody's making a brace for those too. Uh, I think there is a brace for it that goes back here. I think you can remove these screws and put the brace in. Yeah. Um, I haven't done any of that, and then. You know, as you can see here, this is not the original handguard that comes with it. This is a Midwest Industries handguard yeah. that goes on sexy. it there. Yeah, yeah, it's sexy. I mean, obviously, it puts a little bit more weight. The one thing I will tell you guys about this is if you're going to have something like this, you're going to mm -hmm. probably want to put your red dot out here or whatever you're going to do because this is piston-driven, and 
you see the Picatinny rail here, this polymer one, if you clamp anything on here, if you put an optic on here and you tighten it down, it actually affects the piston and messes it oh. up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we you know yeah, we we already sent this back to uh, Caltech because of that, and then when it came back, we had the same problems. We're like, wait, let's take the optic off. We didn't have any problems. Put the optic on. We had problems. So, and they've been making this for a long time, maybe like ten years, and they you know that kind of sucks that they haven't yeah. worked that out. They should probably put like something uh, aluminum. So I, I can't put my ginormous trigicon on it. Oh uh, yeah, you know what? It might work. You can, you can probably put it on there. <laughs> a yeah, bit just make it real heavy. <laughs> a little bit of overkill. Yeah, it weighs yeah. more than the gun does. Yeah. yeah. So you know, that's the one more gun. I think I have one more gun. I could still show you guys. Uh oh, what you got? Yeah. So I did show you guys this before, but then we shot it. Walter, you remember shooting this gun? I oh, think. Oh, 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 the the bullpup. The bullpup nine. Wow, oh, look at that! Look at this right here. I don't know if Kevin's seen this, so here you go. This is, oh, this, is, yeah. this is this is from Bond Arms, and this is very sexy. Yeah, and it is a true it is a true bullpup, by the way. Yeah, look at that little guy. Little it's nice looking. Little pistol, yeah. It's a little finicky with certain kinds of ammo. And What's the uh, capacity on it? Uh, it's six rounds. Six or, rounds. Is it six or seven? I think it's. Uh, I think it's. There's a magazine. I think it's either six or seven. Yeah. Like so it looks like it's um i think it's seven it'll throw it blows your mind kevin because you yeah. it it doesn't load like yeah it's a weird kind of uh the angles are different than normal yeah the way See, so goes. there's the magazine and you're uh -huh. loading it back here and then it's going in here like this huh so yeah, it's strange. but it is truly let me see i could probably so let me just show you guys, it, like the takedown, it's pretty easy. There's this lever here. So I'm going to turn it so I can see it. So you pull it back and that's, you can lock, you can lock it back like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause it has no normal lock back. So then if you, if you flip that over, mm -hmm. you can actually pull it off. So here we go. That's the slide comes off there. And then if you want to look inside, it is truly a, a bull pup, as you can see. Oh, well, you sure. see the linkage going all the way back there. Four sixty one yep. only. Yeah. So there you go. If you guys want to, let me see if you guys can see that. Yeah. So you've got link linkage going all the way there to the back. We shot it. You know. Um. What did you was, think about it, Walter? It was all right. You know, it takes a little getting used to. Yeah. And um, you know, it's it's small, so you know, you got a lot, but it's it's small, but it fills your hand pretty well. I mean, because it's back together. It's, it's relatively thick. Yeah, but it's cool. That's yeah, nice it's a, nice. yeah. Um, you know, oh, is it is it heavy? It's not really that heavy. You know, it is like Bond Arms puts like real wood and all that kind of stuff, so it had some weight. You know, it's not like having like a little LCP or anything like that. It is a nine millimeter, and and most of it is like sitting back here in your, you know, in the in the in the back of your hand. So it's kind of like I, I think this is probably a good gut gun. We weren't very accurate until we moved, like maybe um, what would be like ten yards. Yeah, pretty cool. The target, yeah. yeah. So there you go. But it's you know, for me, I collect bull pups. It does work. It is better than the Bolbert that was out there. Um, Bond Arms bought Bolbert and then started perfecting this. It is expensive though. This is a nine hundred, like close to thousand dollar. Yeah, close to thousand. Oh, wow. yeah. So there you and go. That, I think, you, get a, you get an HK and a half for that. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you know, they might even throw in a hat or something. <laughs> you got your good. You got hey, your good. You know what, Hank? I'm going to send you an HK. Oh, no thanks. No. <laughs> mm, don't need it. I, do, I really don't like man. HK at all, man. I know you can tell, man. That's some I hate be, there. I prefer the clones. I don't I don't have that much hate towards HK. I really don't. Well, you know what? I don't like them because they don't like me. I mean, why should I like people who don't like me? What if, what if the president issues you a personal apology? Of HK? What, what difference <laughs> would that would make? Yeah. Uh, what, what, well, would the, what would the apology do? They've already, I've like tried to talk to HK so many times oh, and the people yeah. who work there tell you we could give two shits about the civilian <laughs> market. I mean, it's eventually if you get, if the people from a company keep telling you that, you that just. Can I ask you this? Because I know they've done a lot of shifting around. This isn't a way to give them an excuse, but I know they've done a lot of shifting. Are you familiar that if somebody told you that, if they're still employed there? 
Do I know who the people are? Is that yeah, what I know? You know, I know you know who told you that, but I'm saying, or do you know if the people are currently still employed there today? No, I mean, because I mean, I've only been doing this like four and a half, five years. So I stopped giving a crap about HK, like I'm going to say at least three, four years ago. <laughs> okay. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because once people keep telling you that kind of stuff, you're like, whatever. Yeah. You know, that's the thing that happens. So I'm not against it. I think, you know, it's not anything personal against the guns. Like we say here, you know, guns don't kill people. Guns also don't discriminate. It's the people in the company that do that. Yeah. You know, and, and you don't buy the thing. You buy the person and the people from that thing. So, um, you know, I'm not saying that HK doesn't make some cool stuff, but... You know, I, I don't think they're deserving. I don't think they're these. Look, listen, let's be honest. Glock is kind of stuck up, right? Yeah, Glock probably. folks are kind of stuck up. Probably F, to, F, FN is too. Yeah, but but those companies don't go to the level of going, we don't give a shit about the civilian market. Yeah. I know. You know, so when, when people get, the only other people I've seen do that kind of shit is Knight's Armament. <laughs> you know, so when you get to that <laughs> level where you're like all stuck up and, you know, you could care less or whatever, it's all what good. Do? But, you know, I'm curious. what nice huh? do? What did they do? I, I'm not I'm not familiar. With no, I'm they... just saying there's companies out there like that, that because they get all these government contracts. Yeah, they're primary is, thing is, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. they, yeah. They just get real stuck up. You know, they think they're super special. The people who work there start to believe they're super operators and. You know, you got to bow down to their authority or whatever. I, I'm really the kind of person that the people behind the companies, if they rub me wrong, I could give two craps about them. I'm with that. And I guess my so, experience has just been, been different because every time I talk to a rep, I know what the word is. Don't get me wrong. I definitely know what the rep is when it comes to HK. But every rep that I've talked to in person, they were always real kind, real nice, real helpful. Uh, so that's why I ask, like, I wonder if the... The, the paradigm if things have changed lately, maybe. I mean, the only place where I see HK, like, for example, with uh, they do stuff with, uh, uh, you know, Coleon Noir. I mean, but, you know, he's a big superstar. So that makes sense. But there are other companies that don't act like that. You know, they're out there. So, for example, in our community, the gun guys that are on YouTube. There's other companies out there that are happy to have us feature their guns and do things with with you and all that and then you have companies like hk and some other companies that if they're going to deal with you they're just going to deal with the you know the big, ones, big the shots big, yeah, yeah yeah you know what's always amazed me about that even from a even from a standpoint and it doesn't matter what company it is even from a marketing standpoint the way that the world is shifted now without the guys the normal guys or you know the guys that are out here on social media talking about your stuff a lot of that stuff falls to the wayside because you're only stuck in that niche community. And as soon as that community yeah. falls, yeah. there goes your revenue. And yeah. then you know, it's the fallback and trying to get the common guy and, you, you know, your doorbells ringing with box after box of stuff uh, to put on, to yeah. put out there and talk about. But that's, that's sad. This is marketing genius the way it's set up for companies now. And it costs yeah. you nothing. Absolutely. So, and maybe that's going to change when they start building stuff here. Um, Shut up and play your guitar says, how do I feel about IO? <laughs> Um, uh, oh, oh. You know, is it, is IO is it, actually it, the people at IO are actually very nice people, but the guns, as, I've, I've, as I've, we've seen from Walter, you know, the guns. Yeah. I've talked so to much. them too at different shows, and yeah, they're you know, yeah. hey, how nice you doing? Folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's kind of the flip side of that, and yeah, you know, yeah, they sell a shitload of guns. Yeah. I've talked Maybe to people that work at because they're nice and that's how they get over. Listen, what we want is the balance, you know. You're look, the biggest market for guns is right here, the civilian market. Yep. And if you want access to that market, you should respect it. Don't be like a politician and just give us lip service, you know. That to me is bullshit. So that's that's what I feel about like <laughs> HK. I think service, it's a lip yeah. service with no happy ending. You know yeah, I mean? you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lip service. No happy ending. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even going to elaborate on it. But uh, I think that's the that's the problem for me. I wish that HK, I mean, may, uh, didn't they buy a factory here? Aren't they building? Yeah, they're supposed to build them here. Yeah. The Georgia or something? Yeah. 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 So maybe but, things will change with that. You know, there was, when, when there was this outpouring of joy when people heard that they were building a factory in Georgia. And I said, you know what, folks? They ain't doing it to sell you a gun. They're doing it to do U.S. military stuff. Because yeah. as a requirement, you have to have it has to be made here. Mm -hmm. So they're not doing it for Joe Schmo, so we oh. can 
I mean, there, but there could be some spinoff from that, you know, excess and things like that. But the main reason I guarantee you they're building for contracts. Yeah. So. But look, I could tell you there are people I remember, like, for example, my story with IWI, I have a Tavor and I have the X95. And uh, I got the Tavor. I, uh, that was like, um, I don't know if it was, I don't think it was my first bullpup, but like modern bullpups, you know, the, the first one that I got, it was really cool. And I did videos with it where I didn't even really know anything, literally got the gun and went out <laughs> and did videos. And then I went to SHOT Show and I saw these, um, what do they call the, the Israeli uh, Special Forces yeah. dudes? Oh, um, the Mossad? Uh, yeah, the, like the Mossad or IDF dudes. Well, yeah, IDF yeah. is the regular thing. Yeah, Ma Mossad is like um, yeah. CIA guys. Yeah, that. but you yeah. see these special – there's some special ops dudes from Israel that work with them, right? Right. And those guys, they recognized me. They saw the videos, and they were like, hey, Hank, let's – you know, can we show – can we show you something? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, right. please. So they were nice about it. Do you understand? Right. They didn't come with that attitude of like, you know – Hey, you asshole. suck. You this is why we don't give a crap about the civilian market. Right, they right. were really cool about they it. They wanted to so. correct you. They wanted to correct you. Yeah, yes. you know who they wanted to help. Can, you know one guy that sticks out that I can say that was really, really nice. It was um, IWI. It was really, I will, I will give them credit for that. He was really approachable and really nice, and like he gave me a bullpup one-on-one class, like right on the spot, like why it's better and why he feels his product is good, and it was with all love. So I would say IWI was another good company to just. Yeah and chat with yeah so it's definitely some I, i'm with you though I'll, I'll tell people all the time uh even when it comes to some of the smaller companies um look man if if you're if you're walking around like you're doing me a favor by providing a product yeah uh, you get educated real quick that's not the case yeah but it's not to knock the actual guns from hk i mean they've yeah. probably got the highest percentage of bucket list guns yeah, I mean, so. <laughs> that little, right. that little, that little, that little like MP5 and MP5K and stuff. Those are yeah. those are cool little guns, you know. Yeah, Dude, I was down when I just went to uh, AZ Firearms in Phoenix when I was down there a couple of weeks ago, and I went to AZ Firearms. I'm talking about. I almost made a mess in my pants, dude. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Look at these. Look at this wall of HKs, man. Oh boy. Okay, let's show it. Let's show it. <laughs> Look at this wall of HK. Yeah, that should be that's what that should be your living room wall or your gun room oh, wall. Man. I, I you know look I mean? forward to it one day. And then he took me out and let me shoot the HK MP40. Oh my god. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm with you because it definitely is a lot of bucket list guns, and the average gun on that wall is also nine grand. So I'm like, all right. Yeah, <laughs> let's see what, what is Walter showing us. Well, this is kind of this is an HK a G3 collapsible stock right. on a uh, on a receiver that yet to be built. So are built. So is that an actual HK one or is that a clone? Uh, the stock is, the receiver's not. Um, oh, okay. Cool. But, you know, it's a 308. Yeah. Well, see, so that's the good thing about it, right? There's lots of cool clones out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't have to necessarily all go yeah. HK. I mean, yeah. you know. I you mean, start... not, you know, not that I wouldn't. <laughs> no, if you can swing it, hey, you know, I mean, I used to have a real HK91. I bought it back in the day. Um, I, 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 had, I had a thing for HKs back in, you know, because they were just on the news, like during the time when uh, Iraq and Iran were fighting each other, mm -hmm. he, both sides used DHK, and it was on the news all the time. I was like, "Oh man, I gotta get me one of them." Yeah, so I did. And yeah, then, absolutely. And I've got friends that have like HK tattooed on their yeah. bodies. <laughs> By the time I bought that HK ninety one, it was like six hundred and ninety dollars, something like that. Wow. And that was expensive at that time for like, like. A military type rifle and that same hk that, that 91 now is probably i don't know probably three grand or something but just for a regular old gun but mm -hmm. um, that's fine you know i want to make a stock for it man i want to get that stock in those some secret service yeah. guys hands. right uh mateo 674 says uh didn't know the tso is still offered in 40. I'm not sure. I just jumped in on that conversation there. Let's see what they're talking about. Okay. Also, Jake Arnold asked me if I knew about the 460 Rolani around yeah. Rowley. Oh, uh, yeah. I have not a clue. Um, that, that's a pistol cartridge, I would assume. Um, yeah. Uh, the chat is like going way past us, man. I'm like yeah, just I'm trying not, to catch I'm up. Sure, I'm sure there's it a is, lot yeah. of chat going on in here. So lots of folks joining us. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Okay, so um, what other what other cool stuff do you guys have? You, oh, did you did anyone see the IMI Magal? Nope. The oh. 30 M1 carbine. Hold on, let me. That's I'm what I was see. just talking about. 
Were you? I didn't. I wasn't listening. Yeah. <laughs> I was not listening to you. <laughs> you dirty dog. <laughs> I was probably reading something. Okay, I just put, I just put it in the chat. I think, or, or you, you know, what? Sorry. I'm like sorry, I said, basically, it's I wasn't Gleal, listening to you. basically Gleal and M1 card. Yeah, I just looked. I just saw it now. I did yeah. hear. Oh, you look at Hank found. Before. Hank found it first. <laughs> yeah. No, I. You know what? I do remember you saying something now, and I have no clue what. I, I think I was trying to read the chat at that point. Why does that guy have a gnome on his hat? That's all I'll say. And um, in case somebody else is watching, um, <laughs> it looks good though. It does look good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta, you know, I gotta change that because I really do like the. Oh, you do did you what? Hear that? Could you hear that? So what did you do? You took the gnome off. That was my zipper. No, um, yeah, I took the gnome. Oh, off. Yeah, no, please keep keep it zipped up, Walter. Keep it. Put the first lady up there. Boom. Okay, in there pink. you go, Flotus. Pretty in pink, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna get the American Gun Chick some of those. She said she wanted them, so. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. Send us some. We'll, you know. Uh, she's on the road all the time, so I don't know how to. I'll have to wait. To, they're coming back down to Florida, by the way, too. So. At some point, yeah, they'll probably yeah, we'll, we'll back cross paths. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, you know, speaking of which, uh, here, I'm going to put up this video. Look, should we tell these people about this video where someone was mocking yeah, us? Yeah, put it up. It's yeah. So there's a video where these. <laughs> That's why it's I did my little, It's a British dude. And if, if know, anybody knows why I did that thing about the gnome, that's why. You'll you'll see why when if you yeah, watch this. Video. So I, I just I just now don't obviously don't close out of this. You can open it up in another window wherever you are at home and check this yeah. out. I'll just describe it to you. It's from um, Maximus Gaming. Maximus Gaming. So M A T S I M U S Gaming. So he decided to do a video mocking, I guess. <laughs> you know, mocking or making fun, a little tongue in cheek. It's yeah. some British dude that lives in Canada, you know, whatever sense that makes. <laughs> and he swears he's like some kind of super gun expert or whatever, but he's making fun of our <laughs> non gunness. <laughs> yeah. Um, Where we don't know shit about guns. Where uh, actually, uh, American Gun Chick was on the Hacienda shooting stuff with me and Walter. Yeah. And uh, he's got some, you know, he's got some funny commentary on there. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I intimidate him with my stare. Well, my looks. That, that and your, yeah. and I think I think the mohawk. You know, it just. Uh, yeah. So you guys can watch the video, and you know, um, obviously draw your own conclusion. I I think it's funny. Yeah. You know, um, I don't really care. I guess when you make these kind of videos, you have to make fun of people and all that kind of stuff. So I always think it's amusing when you've got a guy where, at least in this video, you don't see his face. I don't look at the rest of his channel. So I don't know if he shows his face on his if channel. You, or not. If you look at his yeah. other video about American Gun Chick, he, he, he you do see his face. You do see his face. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's the other? Let's see. What's the other video about American Gun Chick? He likes American Gun Chick. Yeah, I think he's just like jealous because he can't hit that. Bro, bro. Oh. That's what uh, I'm not, I didn't even I go think, in I there. Think him, I think him and Joe ought to have a showdown. Like Joe ought to meet him in the middle of a parking lot somewhere. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> uh oh, no, I don't either. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're saying. You know, um, and then he's got like a funny name for, uh, what is it? What is he? I was going to, I wanted to ask Tyvin if Tyvin's ever heard of him because he's supposed to be a gamer guy too. So, yeah, I don't know if um, Tyvin's heard of this guy. He's got 50,000 subscribers, so he's got a pretty he, decent. He likes to call people mongs, whatever that means. Well, so mongrel. What does that mean? Mongrel. Yeah, I, short for 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 mongrel. This guy is, sounds a little. This guy sounds a little a little skinheady. That's he sounds a little bit like a skinhead. That's an know? English term for a retard. Yeah, but this guy mongrel. sounds a little bit like a like a um, you know, like uh, don't one of, uh, you know, he sounds a little bit like one of those dudes, you know, who's um, neo Nazi. Oh, no, he, he sounds a little neo-Nazi-ish to me, you know? I don't know. He's definitely intimidated by the black man, if you look at his oh, thing. Okay. Wait, wait. Yeah. We compared you to the blue guy on, uh, on uh, uh, oh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, I actually yeah. like that. I think that's cool. That's cool, actually. I, yeah. I got no problem with that. That guy's actually, that, that, that character on the, on, Ameri on um, he's actually a good guy. He's kind of, a, you know, like a scumbag kind of thief person, but he actually, in the end, he's kind of, he has, he has, you know, kind of a halfway decent dude. So, yeah. Okay, here I think I found the other video. 
where he's talking about America. Yeah, I think he's obsessed with American Gun Chick for real. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, could he say I he get it. Be like his mom. I want her to be my mm. mom or something. I just found my gun, mom. Whatever he said. No, that's the Mong thing Mong. that um Mong from Mongrel. Yeah, that's actually like a um derogatory, derogatory. Yeah. derogatory uh thing that he's using towards American yeah. gun chick. Yeah. 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 Like you're retarded. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He does look he's no, this guy definitely looks like uh one of those skinhead dudes. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I'm looking that's, at his picture. How do you right tell now. somebody that just look at it like that? Yeah, I could tell from looking at him. He's his haircut is a little bit like like a Hitler. He's got like a Hitler haircut. So if you got <laughs> hey, all right, here I'm we just, go. <laughs> hey, listen, it goes both ways, right? <laughs> yeah. So would, you know, and it, it, the sad thing is too. You know, um, you know, I've had to. So you guys haven't seen it. So oh, well, there will be a video uh, coming out with me and American Gun Chick uh, on her channel and one on one. That's right. So you should stop yeah, by. Yeah, show and play a guitar. Says yes. uh, the dude is a douche nozzle. <laughs> <laughs> He's I don't know, a total man. douche nozzle. I like that term. Actually. Yeah. It's a yeah. Douche. <laughs> when people, it's a douche <laughs> nozzle. This, hate. this, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Say that again. <laughs> I know. I just. Re I really. I really. And I know this dude is doing it for attention. Don't get me wrong. Hence, he's getting it right now, right? But mm -hmm. I don't know. After, especially after meeting her. But I feel this way about about every woman in this, uh, in, around the Second Amendment. It's like you people rag on them so hard. Either they're they're sex objects or they're they're not good enough to be with a gun. And I'm I'm really trying to figure out what that is. It's like, it's so just hate. You know, I mean, I think. Else to do. I think it's just hate, you know, obviously I'm just razzing this guy a little bit, you know, right. if someone yeah. goes to the point of making a video, I think this guy has like 51,000 subscribers, that's decent, you don't get there yeah, accidentally. Bad, yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, you, you definitely don't get there accidentally, I didn't, I haven't gotten there here accidentally, so, um, you know, the thing is, is that um, what happens a lot with with people when they look at, uh, let's say, like gun bunnies or however you want to put it, mm -hmm. when people complain about that. I don't really understand where those people are coming from. I mean, if you're good looking, wouldn't you be out there? If I was all ripped, are you kidding me? If I was ripped, <laughs> I would be showing my rippedness. Rippedness. <laughs> yeah. They got a new one, that lubricious yeah. rippedness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, what do people, you know what I'm saying? American gun chick, okay, she's she's a hot chick or whatever, so what do you want her to do? She she should wear like flannel shirts, no. you know. What? No, just I, cover I, up the neck. Don't show the legs or the boobies or whatever. It's like, what do you want? I mean, that doesn't yeah, disqualify right. well, someone from being. I know, I know what I know. Lots of women that people would consider to be gun bunnies because they're attractive, and they will shoot rings around you, and they're pretty <laughs> badass. You know. And you know what? Let me let me add this in too, and this is for even some of the the, the gun guys out there. So I don't think American Gun Chick, and I'm just singling her out because we're talking about her. I've watched her stuff, and I don't ever once remember her saying anything about being a gun expert. Never mm -hmm. once have I heard her say that. No, she's not. We got, we got to remember where it's, whether it's a guy or a girl, but I'm just focused on her because we're talking about her. Make sure you are open to help people when they ask for it. And don't be so quick to throw out your advice when nobody asks you for your opinion. You know, like if, if she just, you know, I put up a, a snippet on Facebook of her shooting a rifle and it was just a teaser, like 10 seconds long. And a guy commented, he's like, well, technically her feet should be at a 30 degree angle oh, God. and she should be, shut up, you know, shut up. And I, I say that in a kind way, you know, I'm not being mean, but hush your mouth for, for one reason. A, stop critiquing people that are doing something you're not doing. B. If you are going to help bring people into the gun community and help them be comfortable, this girl hyped out there, started a YouTube channel, has got what, 17 to 20,000 subscribers. So people like looking at her for whatever reason. If she's going to be a funnel to get people into guns, leave her alone. Stop critiquing people every little bitty thing they do. It turns so many people off from shooting with you when you take them to the range or they put up a Facebook video of them shooting and you're throwing out a bunch of critiques. If they're being safe and having a good time, Leave people to hell alone. Well, the, the, also the truth of the matter is, is that look, this guy makes he's making these kind of videos. He he does um, video game stuff and he makes these kinds of videos. It's not a bad thing, really, to me. Yeah. Like I said, I'm in all seriousness, it's not a bad thing that someone makes a video mocking a video <laughs> that we did. I don't have any problem with that. I don't think American Gun Chick has it. Um, I, I know and what he has to do, what he has to do is make this video and mock people in there in order to get people to look at it. And I get that. So 
it's kind of hypocritical, you know, for him to, if he really thinks this, I don't think he probably doesn't. I'm sure he has a hard on for American gun check, oh, yeah. but you know, that's what he's doing to get people to look at him. So that's what she's doing. That's what we all, we all do what, you know, whatever it is we have to do to get people to look to us, you know, to, you know, we're not going crazy. Obviously, you know, Walter and I, and, and, uh, you know, probably, you know, Kevin's a lot better looking than we are Walter, but, that's not why we have him on. <laughs> he sure is. He sure, is. yeah. So <laughs> he's a beautiful man. That's not the yeah. he's a beautiful. The thing, thing. Yeah. The <laughs> thing is, is look, we all do what we have to do, right? I mean, that's what this is all about, yeah. right? We're all here and we're trying to get attention, including that guy. Well, you know. So well, I, I talked to them about it. They were at the creek. Um, mm -hmm. American Gun Check was there, and and they were fine with it. Yeah. They were like, hey, that's fine. We we laughed at it, you know. I mean, it's yeah. Fine. Yeah, I think it's funny too. Because in the end, everybody, twenty more thousand people or fifty to more thousand people see American Gun Check. Yeah, true. Yeah, and me and you, Hank. So yeah, that's I mean, fifty thousand you know. people that might not have saw my bald head, you know. But yeah, but at least they saw us, you know. Yeah. So it's good. No, absolutely, absolutely not. There's nothing wrong with it, yeah, and there's nothing wrong with him man. doing the video either. I'm, you know, totally fine and, with it. And I do have lots the of guy these. Does, the guy, the guy does look weird and creepy. He does look kind of like a serial killer kind of person. <laughs> yeah, he's Bundy. that. He's that like kind Bundy. of weird. You know, he looks like uh, you know when they try to uh, clone Hitler, and and um, oh, when the, the aliens did it. The the the, uh, the sperm was probably too old or something like that, and came out a little. He looks a little mongoloid. I would say <laughs> <laughs> he's, you know, he's called, he's, he's calling someone that. So, uh, you know, yeah, I don't think he, yeah. I don't think he'll mind us calling him that either. Yeah. It's all, I all fair. And yeah. Fair. I don't think he has any problem with that. Comes around, goes around. I think buddy. he's totally cool with it. So you guys could check that out if you want to. Yeah, I thought I'd bring that up. It's fun. Don't worry about it. Walter's my happy. Son, my son saw it. My, my Spencer saw it and he was pissed at him for a while. <laughs> he was talking about me. Yeah, because he was talking so, about the big head. I think he's just jealous. Yeah. And so yeah. somebody else had to tell him to chill out because it's all you know, kind of fun. So it's not like you know. Yeah. So, no, I think yeah. it was. Listen, it's always flattering when people look at what you do and then take the time to uh, make fun of you and all that kind of cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So and you know, they, if they say nice things about you, who the hell's gonna watch it? So. Oh, <laughs> right. you turd. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what else? What else do we have here? Have you seen this um, also on the firearms blog? Let's right? see what you can copy. It. Oh, guess what? Cypress is getting a. Oh, never mind. You can okay. say it. Okay. No. Did you guys see the sci fi revolver on there? Hold on. I'm going to. Yes, throw I did. did, did Actually, somebody that? came to the creek this weekend that had a gun from one of the. Um, a movie gun. Oh, really? Which one? Oh, hell. I knew you were going to ask me that. I had to bring it up, didn't I? Was it an actual movie gun? Yeah, it was an actual no. movie gun based on okay. a, on an M11, M11-9. Um, oh, hell. What was that? Yeah. I don't know. You know, I'm not, as you know, I'm not like a big uh, movie guy, so. But it was cool looking. Okay. I had to ask yeah, Alan like, about it, and he told me about it, so. Right, yeah, I like, um, was this a functioning movie gun? Yeah, it was or? an actual, yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Okay. It went bang. So, um, mm. did you see the picture on the firearms blog of the two Iraqi snipers? I guess that got killed over there. That were like <laughs> they were like infamous snipers. Oh, uh, the one guy looks like Chewbacca, and the other, uh, um, uh, and the other guy, I guess, which they were killing. Of, these guys were taking out ISIS, or yeah, ISIS, ISIS guy. Yeah, shooting. Yeah, shooting ISIS. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So. Um, yeah. Matteo Matteo six seventy four says there was also a RoboCop cuppy gun. Um, it might have been it might have been a RoboCop gun or or something like that. It was like I said, it was based on the M eleven nine. Okay. Um, it kind of looked like a P ninety a little bit. It was kind of a gray mm -hmm. color. But, so um, here's something that's Florida and then even Gainesville related. So Florida so. governor declares state of emergency. Oh yeah. In advance of Richard Spencer event. Because <laughs> a white supremacist guy is going to talk. Yeah. So uh, this is, um, what is this? This is the Washington Post. West Palm Beach, Florida, Governor Rick Scott declared a state of emergency Monday in anticipation of a speech by white national nationalist Richard Spencer at the University of Florida. Scott warned in an executive order that a threat of potential emergency is imminent 
in Alachua County, where the public university is located. Oh, the order is intended to help with law enforcement agencies' response to rallies planned for Thursday. The governor said in a new release, University of Florida officials said Monday afternoon the order was not made in response to any specific specific heightened threat. So, um, yeah, so basically he's going to be here. So, you know. Okay. Well, that's just so they can have, they can be ready in case they need more. Yeah, I don't think anything's going to really go down. You know, I mean, who gives a crap? Uh, I don't, yeah, you don't give jerks like that attention, man. I, yeah. I mean, you know, you know, they, they've always, they've always went out and talked. They've always had stuff. And nine times out of ten, there's nothing. Yeah, nothing they gather. You know. Yeah, maybe that maybe that Matinmus guy will be at that rally. <laughs> that guy might be there. You know, he might enjoy that. He might enjoy that. Oh, he those looks. Guys. He looks like yeah, you know, one of those boys from Brazil, type of things. You know, they would enjoy it. You know. <laughs> Man, you're tough. I think I think Hank might have a look too. <laughs> huh? You might have a little too beef. We gonna have to calm you down. Oh no, I doubt that's gonna happen. No, the guy's scared of me. He <laughs> yeah, can't. Right. He well, can't yeah, you give him the evil eye. Yeah. Yeah, he can't. Uh, he can't make eye contact with a video of me. Even. <laughs> I think that. I mean, that's kind of cool. He, you know, if you had to be compared to somebody in the Marvel universe, that's not a bad comparison. Oh, what that? The, the guy's the, pretty bad, man. The dude with the arrow. The, oh the, yeah. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Bad. I mean, that's that's pretty cool, man. I so now you got to get a gun that really does that. So now we got to get you a cartridge that you can um, that you can whistle at and moves around. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, it's called it's called this. <laughs> yeah. My brain thinks it. I don't even have to whistle. <laughs> so, so why why do uh, how that, often do huh? how often do you guys um, have those kind of rallies in Florida? Those kind of things, um, you not know, that often. No, not that often. I mean, in the, around the university, there's always something going on there. You either have like an anti-war or anti-this or anti-whatever. Um, you know, I agree with what you said. I think guys like this really don't even deserve the attention. Who gives a crap? I don't give well, a crap about them. And and, you know, in our, in a, and in our society, they can talk just like we can tell everybody. Else. Yeah, yeah, they right. they have the right to go up there and do things. I think right. people should just leave it alone. If right. you go there and make a big thing out of it, like right then now, you're getting, you're 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 making it. You're you're putting them out in the so everybody knows about it. Then, if you make a yeah, big think about absolutely. it, absolutely. I think by go, going to all this this length or whatever, then we're just blowing the guy up bigger and maybe helping him right. recruit people. But right, right, right. And yeah, if you get in an argument, I tell people all the time: if you get in an argument with people like that, you know, and say they say something that's really offensive and you punch them in the face because what they said was horrible well that's all they want you to do anyway for they can they can sell you out as being somebody that's irrational and violent right, right so it's right, like right, yeah right, right, right. i'm paying more attention man yeah you know i absolutely agree with uh with that so lola just showed me a news article i think someone was mentioning it before the spokane police department to going to suppressors oh really oh, i saw that i saw that what well, that makes sense yeah it's good yeah yeah, nothing wrong with that. No. Have any yeah. business? Don't wake me up. Well, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, it's um <laughs> Yeah. They uh it's a good thing for them, right? Health wise. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean it's it, operationally yeah. if you have yeah. to use it, it's way better than having yeah all kinds of people firing around you. Yeah. Right. Um okay, Matteo seventy six six seventy four. His right to speak, your right not to listen. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, also, yeah. I like to know, I like when people, when you give people the right to speak, then they kind you of find out what they're about. Real yeah, quick, then you know they? who the people, yeah, there yeah. you go. You know who the people are that, you know. That's when these things happened this last eight yeah. years and or so with all these people coming out, screaming all this crazy left-wing stuff. Now you know about them. Right. You know about all these crazy actors and these crazy musicians and everybody in between that, before you didn't really know too much about them, and they they felt like they had a free uh, a free yeah. reign to spout their crap. Yeah. So I carry my revolver. Says they care about their ears, but um, f our ears. Well, I don't know that the Spokane police believe that. In, in Washington, can you have suppressors? We gotta look that up. I don't know. No. Um, we gotta look that up and see if you can have suppressors. I'm on it. I don't know whether or not those guys um, are against suppressors. We should all. It should be suppressors for everyone. Suppressors for you know, everybody. Yeah. yeah. You get a suppressor and you get a suppressor and you no, get No suppressors for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I, you know, um, that's what I think. I think um, every gun should have a suppressor on it, right? Why not? Well, I don't know, man. At Knob Creek, if every gun had a suppressor on it, it wouldn't be very exciting. 
No, I think it was you, you. You and I went to an event that was all suppressors. It was pretty cool. Oh, Do you remember that, Walter? We went to that uh, uh, Silencer Co. thing. Yes, 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 yes. That so was all walk, suppressors. Walk around with no ears on. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I thought it was nice. Uh, people were still shooting. It was still fun to see people shooting, but you could actually talk to people without shouting. Right, right, right. Exactly. It looks as yeah. of 2016, they might have been uh, illegal, but as of now, they are legal to own in Washington State. Oh wow! Oh, okay. So they, yeah, so it's so it's not just for the popo. Yeah, it's where it says while it, this was in 2016. While it has been legal to purchase a silencer or suppressor for a firearm in Washington State, it has been illegal to use them. So you buy what? Them. <laughs> but they changed, so now they're all good. Yeah. Well, that's like I said about the NRA wanting this, thinking they're going to get reciprocity. They're going to have reciprocity, and you won't have any guns. So what the hell good would it be? <laughs> if they. Res that, that kind of thought, like, well, let's trade this for that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, yeah. They're never going to get reciprocity. That's a, that's a pipe dream. Um, Made it. Because, it, you know, one thing, it's, um, it's funny, too, because, you know, I know a lot of guys were running to get um, concealed carry permits for Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, when you go to Vegas, you can actually carry. I would think that Vegas will be more open to letting people carry guns there. I'm kind of shocked there. They are. Um, yeah, they're they're not though. Well, because in the casinos, you can. The Florida um, CCW reciprocates to Vegas. You can carry though. walking down the street, but you can't go in any building. Oh, yeah, Florida, Florida is, is there, it has reciprocity with, with Nevada. It does now. Yeah, within the last uh, two years or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't carry in a casino. It's like I don't, yeah. I don't care about carrying a casino. I care about carrying everywhere else. I don't even go in casinos. Well, here's the well, problem. Gotta go. So, like a shot show, you gotta you go to go into a casino. <laughs> Every hotel is a casino. I know, but you know what? It's, it's oddly enough, even though I know pretty much everybody at shot probably is unarmed or should be. Let's not. No, uh, yeah, I got news but, for you. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it it was it wasn't so much of be doing the show because around sixty thousand gun folks, I'm I'm cool. I don't you know I'm not worried about anything. But. Outside, you know, when you go explore the Vegas nights, you know, you go out to the shows oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or the parties or whatever, yeah, like away right. from the strip. Hell yeah. Man, I went to the old Vegas strip and it, like that weird three blocks where it's like man. nothing before you get to. Yeah. Man, look, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, I can't afford to stay in the middle. I had to stay in the stratosphere. So yeah, I'm but here's, the, here's the here's the thing, though. <laughs> even the police officers, even if you're a police officer and you're off duty, you cannot carry your CCW in the casino. So any casino. So mm -hmm. any all those hotels are casinos. So when you walk into the hotel, it's impossible. The way they design them, you cannot walk into the hotel without passing slot machines. That's true. So you're technically in the casino, and that's the problem about the way they have it. Yeah. So you would literally have to like leave that in your car if you're driving, or let's say you're there for shot show or any other show, you'd have to leave that in your hotel room if your hotel is not a casino. Right. So like the hotel I stay in is not a because most of the time the place where we stay is not a casino. Yeah. So you can leave it there, go to the show, then you have to go back to your hotel <laughs> and get. But then anywhere you go, if, if you go to a nice restaurant, the restaurant is in a casino. So yeah. it's, a, it's a really yeah. difficult thing. It's, it's the stupidest thing in the world. And even crazier is that off duty police officers in Vegas. Sure legally and not supposed to now like i see people making comments that there are people who do that all the time absolutely they do and that's all good until something goes wrong if right. something goes wrong you now leave it's the same thing like what happened to oj that's why oj spent time in prison because he took a gun with him uh no he used it in the commission of trying to rob somebody that's what it yeah yeah any crime that you commit but what i'm trying to say to you is that if you defend yourself in a casino even though you're defending yourself, you are going to have problems because you violated that law. Yeah, probably so. You know, so uh, that's the thing. That's the thing that's going on with all of that. And yeah, we'll see you at the end of the month, won't we, my friend? Um, yeah, we'll be there. You know, well, we're I mean, flying. We're flying there. So yeah, yeah. There's I'm no really be concerned when your city disarms your cops. I'm just saying. <laughs> you ought to really be concerned. Vegas is, I don't know if it's still policy, but in Vegas, there was like three day waiting periods, even if you were a police officer. Um, they used to have that. I don't know if they still have it. I have to yeah, check. I don't, I don't, I don't know, know if they changed that the last time around. They might have. So, you know, I'm it's sure. like, 
Really, really, really crazy. So, yeah, you know, no one's patting you down. I know people do it. As someone saying, uh, Lead Devil says, who's patting you down? Yeah, I don't think anyone's patting you no. down, typically. I don't know about now, so I'm sure the Mandalay Bay, I think they're searching people's luggage even, right? Well, yeah, I heard, I heard they were erecting, which I don't know how this is going to work. They were putting up metal detectors in several of them. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, and now here's the trade-off. How many, I know people, I know gambling is its own beast, but... From a consumer standpoint, if you go into a place, do you want to be searched everywhere you go? No. Would you just rather not go? You want to go to Las Vegas where everything's supposed to stay in Las Vegas and it's all fun and happy and you want to get filled right. down every time you go in and out of a building? No. Yeah, nobody, no, it's uncomfortable, man. I mean, really, yeah. it is. I wouldn't want to do that. So yeah. I know this time I'm not going to stay at one of the casinos. I'm going to stay off of the casinos uh, just to be away from all that hoopla. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, so. Listen, I you know I've I just remember that I actually have to do another show tonight. Oh, oh that's right, you got another. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be on the We Like Shooting show with Aaron. So anyone who wants to join me over like there, shooting. I think I will be joining We Like Shooting sometime in the next half hour or so. Like shooting. Yeah, We Like Shooting. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna let you guys say what you have to say here, so we can wrap it up. Uh. <laughs> he got quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, because you're looking up stuff. Okay, so um, who wants to go first? Kevin, you go. Okay, so um, thank you guys for all tuning in. One, let me say that. Uh, right. Walter and Hanks, great talking to you guys again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday, so stay tuned for that. And I'd um, just like to say, if you want to follow me on um, YouTube, it's NOC for No Other Choice Firearms Channel. Facebook, it is NOC Firearms Training. You can also go to my personal page, Kevin. Dixie, that's D as in dog, I-X-I-E, and on Instagram at N-O-C, Firearms Training, all one word. And if you find it in your heart, you can also go to patreon.com um, backslash or forward slash, whatever it is. It's a slash. Um, N-O-C, Firearms. And uh, yeah, that's it. And look forward to some good, funny stuff, including um, my stab of comedy coming out. So it should be. It should be. Your stab at comedy. Awesome. Comedy. Yeah. Stab at comedy, man. I don't know. It was impromptu. It wasn't planned. It, I just did something. So. He stabs comedy with his tip. <laughs> and, it, and it burst really quick. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Let's not let's not make this uh, protracted. Oh, okay. Go, Walter, what, what do you got to talk about? Yeah. Um, here, speaking there of goes. stabbing Walter's, things. Walter's showing up the tip. Yeah. Speaking of stabbing things. Right. Um, Facebook, Instagram, safetyhourfirearms.com, stemparts.com. Um, we're on YouTube also. Not much up new on that, but we'll work on that here. I also have a Patreon page. Um, you know, I'm not pushing it too much, but I do have one. Um, so got to work out the details on that. Got to talk to uh, the missus uh, there, Lola. Find out oh, how okay. to work that better. Yeah. Next time we I, get I, together. I'll have a conference call about that. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, but anyways, uh, can make that happen. Yeah, we're back in the uh, shop. We're working. Uh, like I said, making stuff, man. So, just doing it. Okay. And for you guys that are waiting on that twelve-inch fifty cal, I guess got to do some chronograph, chronograph, and shoot some paper and see how it works. And then we're gonna start making them. So probably do some small batches at first. So um, might even offer something for the Patreon people if some if I do get some Patreon people. Um, Maybe get some first dibs on stuff. So that's a little, little tease. So all right, sweet. Okay, so I did put up a link for we like sh I don't for the actual we like shooting YouTube page. Okay. I don't have a link for that thing yet, so I've got to figure all that out. I've been here on the show, so I haven't done anything that I'm supposed to do, including looking up this, uh, you know, including like doing my background work that I have to do before we do it. So I'm gonna um, cut this short. I wanna thank everyone that's been watching, everyone that's given us thumbs up, sharing the video and all that kind of stuff. We still have a pretty lively audience. So please guys, shift over to We Like Shooting. It's, a, it's YouTube slash We Like Shooting. Just search for We Like Shooting in YouTube. It's gonna be coming up pretty soon, probably within the next 15 minutes. So, um, Thanks for everyone that's in the chat. I want to thank everyone that supports the channel, uh, specifically the people that sponsor us. That would be like this dude right here, Safety Harbor Firearms, Walter, Yay. Walter Keller, as well as Rand CLP, Andrews Custom Leather, and of course, Big Daddy Guns. These Big dudes. Daddy. Yes, Big Daddy Guns. Thanks a lot for the support. And of course, I cannot forget the people who keep us going, who Patreon. keep the lights on, the Patreon people. We are Patreon. I'm not going to do all the backslash flipping, rub it down like Kevin just did. <laughs> I got this is one of the things I got to train him on. It is just Patreon slash Hank Strange. So there you go. 
All right. So I want to thank everyone for watching once again. Check me out on We Like Shooting. We are out. Thanks. Good night. Peace. Peace. Guys. Peace. See ya. Well.